time being 6.08, um, tonight's meeting of the um, Master Plan Steering Committee is in session. I first want to thank uh, every, all of you for coming. It was a, a special meeting, so I know that it might not have fit in with your schedule, so thank you for, for allowing for that. Um, I also want to thank uh, Judy and her team for producing the, um, continuing to boost, produce the different, the different goals and the recommendations. Um, certainly Patrick, who's been instrumental in organizing things and getting everything out and, and managing all of the, the work of the committee in the background. So I want to thank Patrick for that. Um, and what our goal tonight is, so, so we, have, we have six of our goals. So if we could go through all of those, all of those that would be ideal, but we don't want to give short shift to, the, to actually discussion and, and consideration. So we're going to take them, um, we're going to do the first four. We're going to do them in the order of, of um, three, seven, eight, and nine, and then we'll go to two and five. And the only reason I was doing that is because the, the last two came later and people might not have a lot of time to look at them. But if we could do all six, that would be, that would be ideal. Our next meeting is on the 27th, September 27th. I know some people might not be able to make it, so that, that's why the, the, you know, the, the intent to try to cover all of them. Um, Ashley, um, so I'm gonna do our attendance now. So, um, Ashley, if you want to just, uh, thank you for attending on Zoom. If you want to just acknowledge you're, you're on the meeting. I, I am on the meeting. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. So, Ashley, and then uh, we have Carrie. Here. And Andrew. Here. Janet. Here. Jen. Here. Glenn. Here. Um, Mike? Here. Katie? Here. And myself. So having nine members attending, we have a quorum. So can I ask an initial question? Yes. What will we be doing to get the feedback for those members that are not here? So what I was thinking is that if, if some of the members want, if we vote on something tonight, and if one of the members who is not here felt really strongly about something, then what I would invite them to do is we would re reconsider it. Is what I would, that was my thought on that. Because do, we do want to be fair and make sure that everyone does have the chance to have input. And even if we vote one way, you know, someone may have a very strong argument that may, may have us think differently. So if that works for people, that, that was my, my plan. Um, we're going to take votes. Um, First of all, we have to do uh, a roll call vote because we have somebody on Zoom, and that it's in accordance with the open meeting law and the act of extending certain COVID-19 measures. So we will, we will do all votes by roll call. To facilitate that, we're gonna use the consent method that we use at town meeting. So I will, I will go and read, we'll go through first, I will read all of the, the goals, or all of the of recommendations in a particular goal and if you'd like to discuss it, if you'd like to amend it or vote no for it, um, then you should say hold. And for everything that we don't have a hold on, then we'll take one by one. And I don't want to discourage anyone from um, speaking up. If you really have something you want to say, we should put a hold on it. Um, this is far too important to uh, far too important to, to push this through without, without having consideration. Um, so we'll see how long people want to go. Um, I'm, I'm good for as long as, as you're good for, so. Um, um, Bill, could I just add to yeah. what you just said, sort of what you and Jen had spoke of? So I didn't feel we had enough time to review everything based on the time of the year and how crazy it is. Yeah. Um, so I think we should maybe leave that open to even ourselves. We could revisit it at the next meeting. Just because I did go through everything but I feel like I was super rushed, and I would like to just digest it a little bit and go through it again, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, no, and I think that's very fair. So I, I think any, anyone, we, want, we could reconsider anything. How about that, okay? Um, and like I said, we're not, our goal is not to go through so quickly that we don't do, do our due diligence. Andrew? Um, I don't want to jump the gun here, but I heard 
if I remember correctly, I recall. Are we going to have like a community forum of sorts in October? Yeah. So the, the reason I'm asking is September's crazy. This meeting wasn't on the schedule originally, which is fine. Um, maybe we want to wait to vote on something when, like, we we know there's a date where there's the maximum number of people there. That's what I'm getting at by asking about future meetings. Yeah. So so we're not going to do the the forum in October. That's going to be that's going to be delayed depending on when we finish our work. I don't think we've decided. I haven't decided. Yet. Yeah, I haven't so been decided. Initially, the that's forum, it. the third forum, was supposed to be on September fifteenth. Obviously, that's not happening. Sure. Um, ideally, I, I think we want to make sure that sitting. we are in a good place with a draft before we can present it. Makes sense. And so, I think the ideal time would probably be late October, if possible if not early November. I mean, a lot of that has to do with just rep, you know, getting a consensus on these items. Got it. And giving, obviously, the fact that we don't even have them all yet, Judy and her team are still working on a lot of sure. things. So there's a lot of edit and um, behind the scenes work that needs to happen before a final, or at least a ready to go plan could be presented. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And we yep. may schedule another meeting for us in October. And we, we talked about that, and I think we'll decide tonight whether we think we need to do that or not. So again, don't want to, We don't want to uh, rush through the considerations. So, so maybe let's just take. I just want to understand who would be going to be attending on the twenty seventh meeting. So, th this this seemed to be a uh, actually a fairly good attendance. We actually hoped a couple other people. This would be uh, this is th this, yeah. We actually were thinking a couple other people would attend, but obviously they haven't. So, you know, when when uh, Patrick uh, polled people, you know, everyone didn't respond, but we were so. Um, so right now, um, I have that uh, Carrie can attend on the 27th, Janet, uh, Jen, Glenn, Mike, Donnell, Katie, and myself. Well, I have a select board meeting that night. You, uh, so you might not be able I to. May, it depends on what's on the oh, agenda. Oh, if it's okay, it's light okay. and not yeah. super important, yeah. I can skip yeah. it. Yeah. So, so that's one of the challenges of, of figuring out when the meeting we have a maximum number of people, what that, what that is. So. Um, if we knew everybody was going to attend on another set night, I would say let, let's, you know, it'd be good to wait for that. But um, so, Glenn, you're, is anyone else I'd uh, hear? Maybe. I mean, I yeah. know. I'm yeah. Maybe. Yeah. No, by the way, we're, we're sorry about that conflict. That's, that, that, that's what that it was. Yeah. No, that, that was probably not well thought out in some ways. Um, anyone else who I mentioned, who I did not mention, uh, do you think you'll be able to attend on the 27th? Did I think you Janet. But, can I said yes. You will, yeah. Janet, right? Yeah. Did you say yes? Yes. So, um, so, again, we want to make sure that people do have a chance to read it. If I mean, if there's something that we want to hold and even not vote on tonight, we can do that as well. Um, it doesn't, we don't have to vote on everything. But, uh, but we could also re-vote something, too. I and imagine. we can re-vote, yeah. So re reconsideration is, is something we can do any time. Yeah, there's no there's no hard and fast rules for this committee in that regard. I think you explained it very well, Phil. Yeah. I mean, I think if anyone reviews something, they have still have consideration or they're still concerned about something. There's no like hard and fast. Like we took a vote, we're not going to talk about it again. So, I think while we're all here together, it's a good opportunity to try to get a consensus on stuff. Um, Carrie. But along those lines, I would assume that if if somebody wants to bring up a section or a recommendation for reconsideration, there would have to be a specific question or concern and not just that they weren't here and are looking for like a recap right like there's something there's a point to the reconsideration is what I'm yeah I would hope that they either view the um, you know the media TV video or or the you know we'll be doing the minutes and read it over and if they they see that we voted yes that they, they mm -hmm. are comfortable with that so we'll make sure we get the minutes out how about sure. that yeah. so yeah. that, that way we have all the votes and um, and and it was part of part of apologies that we ha we're, we're missing a couple, so we get those out. Uh, but but this this the minutes for this meeting will be particularly important because of the votes were taken. Um, and then the other other thing I want to mention is that it would be good feedback to Judy and her team the priorities that we have for these the the, the recommendations. And I'm not sure if we should do that tonight because that may really complicate things. But right. but. But we do need to do that as well, unless priorities. Priority, yeah. I don't remember that being. Oh, I, I just had an email exchange with her. Okay. Oh, I, you, you. I'm sorry. So maybe that we should wait. If we, we don't have everything, how can we not. prioritize? We, do you we need priorities ones, within these goals, or? Yeah. So, okay. so, we're, so I'm, I'm suggesting we wait on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's another. Sorry. Yeah. No. 
I noticed there's nobody here from the Barrett group attending. How do, what if we have a question, point of clarification, or we have comments on them? How, what's the procedure to get there? So and they will be involved? here at the next meeting, and we'll just put a hold on that, on that um, <coughs> recommendation. I mean, I communicate with Judy regularly. Okay. If you have a question, same time last time we had the meeting where we had comments and concerns and some suggestions, all that gets brought to Judy as well as the other recording. Um, yeah, so I, I had an email exchange with her late this afternoon. I asked her if we should do priorities, and she said that would actually be very helpful. Um, but I don't think we should do it tonight, but I just want to let you know that we can be thinking about that. I mean, that may be a very a process we can expedite based on, um, you know, once we vote on all of the, the ones. So just be before we jump into the yeah. documents, I, I just an expectation that I had that um, that the goals would tie back to the um, to the recommendations that we reviewed in the yeah. in the last meeting, and it they do, but it, um, in, in some cases, but there's not a real clear tie back to the to the goals. And well, how did we get from A to B? So I, I went through all of them, and actually, I did a mapping. So as I read them, I will give you what I think the the uh, the recommendations were that we we voted on a couple meetings ago. Okay. In other words, in other words I, if you. Um, so I guess so, the expectation that these so, policies should not should not line up with our recommendations from last um, time. The, these recommendations may not. Th th these are recommendations linked to a policy, but and they may not link up with the recommendations we voted on because, based on some of the input we gave, Judy had changed some of the things. I have not talked to her about it, but that's what it appears. Okay, so that, that's my question. So based yeah. on feedback, so these policies, policy three A, shouldn't be three point one. No. No, it's not the same. No. Okay. No. In fact, three three A looked to me as being three dot three. It, it it is. Yes. The policies yeah. are and, and some of them aren't even there. Yeah. So, so if like, you want, I will I will give you the mapping that I did. Perfect. As we go through, and some disappeared. You know, I mean, and, yeah, yeah, and, and one of the reasons for that is I think based on the discussion we had during that meeting, um, you know, there were some like the one on the facilities. Um, I think people kind of thought some of that was already happening in, in one instance, not the other. So. I, I guess I, I had a hard time determining which I should put a hold on because I feel like there were some things in here that we didn't necessarily discuss at the last meeting. Yeah, and again, the, yeah. The, the last meeting was only sample recommendations. It wasn't intended to be the recommendation. They were they were oh, some drafts. Did everybody else get that last time? Well, some of it, no. I think some of it was <laughs> supposed to be transcribed as part of. So all these are recommendations, but they're action items of the policy item, which relates to the goal. So if the goal is related to economic development, you have the policy item and then the action item that correlates to the policy item of the greater picture, which is the goal of the section. So what we looked at last time was a recommendation, i.e. an action item. Right, exam. but that was just, but she just put those out there. She was looking for, what she said is she was looking yeah. for uh, getting a sense of where we stood on different things so that they, when, they, when they did the whole, the whole set of recommendations, she had better a sense of what we might want to do or not do. So I, you know, they, were, they were really just uh, drafts, and, and she was just looking for our vote on them, was, was my understanding, talking to her. But that um, was unclear you, to me last time, I, I, to the board. I don't, I don't know if, that, if people knew that what we were discussing and voting on last time were just samples. I, but and shouldn't what we do early. and not want to do come from our community input? Well, on the, yeah. on the recommendations, you know, Judy and her team have taken all the community input, and, and that's where they came up with the vision statements and, and the goals. And then what they're doing, using their expertise working with other towns, they're, they are, and that's what we hired them to do, they are then coming up with practical recommendations that we should do, and that's partly based on their experience working with a lot of towns, what works. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're they're tailoring that to what they hear, you know, what our what our our town um, input was, um, but but it would be impossible to think that that you know the input from the community could possibly include all of the things that we might do because you know a lot of people, including ourselves, may not even know what some of those those recommendations might might be. But I think we I just want to make sure we're good then about um, the understanding of what we did the last meeting. It was my understanding, you know, based on Judy's emails, that that was, she was looking to get those representative recommendations. She wanted to get a sense of where the committee stood, and 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 that was, um, you know, what we gave her. And that was okay. But if I, we I'm liked it, well, why doesn't? The, I guess I don't understand that. If we if we we if we change language or we suddenly like the language, I don't. 
isn't that? Um, well, then she re well, then uh, when we go through it, she it, look, it appears she reworked a lot of things. So you will see some of those be, are, are the um, are the policy statement, mm -hmm. and some are actions in in the. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry that she's not here, that she could speak for herself on this. And, and, uh, but, but she will be here the next meeting. Um, so are we good? Are you good, Patrick? Ready? Well, yeah, I'm um, waiting on you. Yeah. Can I just mention one thing before we start, Phil? Yeah. So one of the things that I, the reason I asked if we could also, if we decide to bring things back up, was one of the things I got caught up on at the end of my review, because I was reviewing so quickly, was there are, and I'm mentioning this so that everybody can keep it in mind, because I don't know if you considered it or if it was just me grabbing it at the end and it's not relevant, so that's why I want to go back and look, bless you, um, was some of the items obviously are, they are strong, strongly worded, they say adopt or implement whereas there are a lot of others that say consider or explore, which in some cases is definitely makes sense, but in some I was like, why? I wonder why that's not worded that way. So I think it's something that everyone should keep those words in mind of what the action is, whether it's a definitive action of adopt, something strong like that, or whether it's something more vague like consider or explore because I think that really changes the whole point. So I think it's something we should all look at when we are reviewing things, that's all. Yeah, and I'm assuming that's intentional, you know, that, that she, you know, that's what she thought, yeah. Um, and then note that the, as, as you saw from Patrick's um, email, that the, the land use area has been taken at, at not being a, a standalone section but now has been uh, spread across all of the different other nine areas where so it's appropriate. That's going to be expanded more. I think yeah. this is what Judy and her team were working on a section for land use thought it was more or less kind of, um, uh, it was a lot of overlap, so to speak, in terms of what land use items were, and then also being related to a, a, a separate section or, uh, or goal item. So that's why they created the column for the land use. I don't think that's exhausted yet. I think that's something that still needs to get fleshed out and be explained at the meeting on the 27th. I know there's a few different items that we don't have in front of us today that will have extensive land use uh, or, or ex be noted as such as being an extensive, as a land use item. So, but that's the direction that her and her team felt made most sense rather than, you know, stating the same items that were already covered in previous sections as also being land use, just have it work as a column. Um, within that section, but. yeah, and I think in one of those it was even uh, gray. You know, it was it was yellow. You know, as, as if there's some additional thinking yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, I want to acknowledge that that John uh, has joined us. So thank you, John. Yeah. Um, would you just acknowledge that you're on the meeting, John? Hi. I think that's an acknowledgement. Okay, so it thank sounded you. like maybe Ashley was trying to, yeah. to talk. To speak, oh, I'm sorry, clear. Ashley. Can you hear us? Yeah, sorry, the audio double repeat because John's not on mute. Yeah, John's not on mute. So it would be great if we could just mute our yeah. So we're getting a lot of feedback. He's yeah. telling to the. I can't hear anything because. Of yeah, so John, anything. could you could you mute when? Unless you're speaking, and are you on two devices? No, no, just one. Just uh, one. Okay. Uh, myself. I think we're just checking with the Wi-Fi now, Ashley. Is that better, Ashley? You can just give a. Yes, thank you. you I appreciate right. it. Yeah. So, again, thank you all for attending. Um, let's see how, how this works. Um, so the first area goal we were going to go through was goal three, um, natural resources. So I will 
I will read them off, and then if anyone wants to do a hold, um, just call out. Um, so the, the policy is 3-A, protect the town's two high yield aquifers, wells, and recharge zones to preserve drinking water quality and supply. Number one is collaborate with state and regional officials on a water conservation program. And I won't read the whole one unless people think I should. No, you don't need to. Well, are you good with that? I, yeah. I am. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to put a hold on one. Both together. Hold on what? Yeah. Jump in there. So. Clip as you need. <laughs> Number two is work with federal, state, local, and private parties to clean up identified brownfields and other existing contaminated lands. Number three is increased regulatory enforcement of stormwater controls regulated under NPDES construction general permit in the town of, of Walpole stormwater management. By the way, um, if someone sees that either Ashley or John are, are trying to get our attention, please, please let me know. Um, number four. Is is actually um, we're gonna we we'll wait till we get down to this three. It's it's one of the ones further down. Can I propose? Um, yep. Adding. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah, yes. I anyone don't. can add anything anytime. By the way. We can talk about yep. it. Yeah. So why don't we add them at the very end? Sure. Yeah. But that. But yeah. So if you want to add an additional recommendation, we can do that. I'm, I'm hoping we you know, we do add some. Okay. So can I hold on to? I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. No. You, yeah. You can. And by the way, if we find out we're holding all of them, then we'll change the process, okay? I was just trying to find middle ground here. Um, Phil, I don't have a hold, but I noticed that the responsibility com column uses um, antiquated language and says board of selectmen. It should say select board. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we should be careful about that. So we're, we're, we'll make sure that we make a note of that. Yeah, and let Judy know. It's a very important change. Yeah. Okay, so we had a hold on one and two. We're on um, three. And then uh, four is, is we're going to cover it in a minute. Five is form a conservation partnerships between nonprofit and public agencies. Six is partner with Wapo Public Schools on youth programming. Seven is commission the Neponset River Water Association to conduct an education session. Eight is develop a forest management plan for the town forest to create a defined schedule of activities. Nine is to develop pond management plans for Clarks, Turners, and Cobbs. Can I hold that one? Yeah, a hold by. Can I, yeah, I have a question, yeah. I guess, for Judy or for maybe for the committee, but going back to number seven. So commissioning the Neponset River Watershed Association to connect an education session sounds, sounds really good. Who's the education session for? Is it for town staff or is it for just the community at large? Um, I mean, in both cases, it would be beneficial. I just, you know, and maybe we can leave it vague. Uh, yeah, no, I, I would say if you want to amend that to, to be, make it specific. I don't, I mean, I think it's fine to be, yeah. that it's vague. I guess, yeah. I, do you know what is intended? Just my gut, I would say, would probably be more the public at large. For the public at large. Just because the okay. staff involved with that do understand. We know, you already know the importance of groundwater. Okay, that, that seems but, but good. If you want I don't to, need to put a hold okay, on Okay, but, but just, just so you know, ask. if anybody wants to add anything, you know, we, we amend the, the language. We, sh we should do that, right? Well, perhaps that yeah. makes sense. So I do want to mention for number, um, number nine was the, 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 the uh, pond management. That, that related back to 3.1 in the recommendations that we already voted on. Okay, that was 3.1. Um, 10, pursue grants to resolve culvert, dam, and bridge upgrades and flood proofing issues. I guess I'll put a hold on that too, please. That's, that's the end. Okay, so I have holds on uh, two, 
five, six, seven, eight, and eight. And one as well. Oh, and, and one. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yes. No, I didn't mark that one. No. So one, two, five, six, seven, eight. So you want me to start off with one? So um, why don't we do the consent vote first? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're voting all the ones that we agreed to. Um, do we, do we have a second to vote yay for the second? Glenn. And I, now I need to do a roll call. Okay. Um, so can we, can we just yep. so what are the ones that we are don't have another question on and don't? Uh, yeah. So it's it's one. Two. Those are the ones no, we do have a question on. What is in the consent agenda? What's, what's in the consent address? Oh, and well, we're voting on. I'm right sorry, now. I marked this wrong. Yeah, let me do this again. Okay. Yeah. So it's five, six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. And pardon me on that. I. I uh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, now, I, actually, three. So this very nice right. chart for myself. But three is also no, uh, and there's no hold on it. Yeah. yeah, so the only holds I have is one, two, nine, and ten. So I'll just be clear, we're voting then on three, five, six, seven, and eight. It doesn't sound so good. Okay. So I'm going to take okay. it. And I seconded that. Yep, and Glenn seconded it. So I'm going to do a roll call vote, and um, I'll do the I'll do the Zoom um, participants first. Ashley. Hi. Thank you. And John. I'll abstain. Oh, you're muted, John. You're still, yeah, you're still muted, John. Right. It's funny because I can hear him. Uh, you can hear him? But it, did he say yes? He said he would abstain. <laughs> Thank you. He abstained? Oh, yeah, I, I heard abstain from Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. Abstain. Yep. He abstained. Okay. So, what I'll do every time, just so. The, you know, John and Ashley know when you're on Zoom, I'll, I'll do your votes first so you can anticipate that. Um, and then we'll go with Carrie. I abstain. I abstain. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Andrew? Yes. Yes. Um, Janet? I can't hear anything hear now. Hear now. Hear now. I'm sorry, what, John? We can hear you. <coughs> we heard you. Does I Just unmute it? I'm muted, but. Jen? Aye. Glenn? Yes. Uh, Mike? Yes. Katie? Yes. And myself is I. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's nine, zero, one. So this is. Okay, so let, why don't we take um, one, the hold with by you, Glenn. So again, one was collaborate with state and regional officials on a water conservation program that reduces groundwater extraction and diversion, increases recharge, and increases the amount of water flow in periods of drought. Yep, it's certainly a very good um, policy action, so I, I support it. Um, increasing recharge is a good thing to do. Um, increasing the amount of water flow in periods of drought. I guess my uh, small concern is with the, the concept of reducing groundwater extraction. Uh, I don't know that that is a realistic expectation. I, I don't think that, um, that, I think what we want to do is discourage excessive water use, yeah. you know, at all times we're trying to make sure we can pump enough water for a growing town. The town's gonna grow. I don't think we're ever gonna um, pump less water. Um, you know, I think we can conserve water and we've seen downward trends, but as the, the town grows, it's not realistic to expect to, um, to decrease the extraction. I think we just want to discourage excessive water use. Um, so, you know, I, I think maybe, in my opinion, we should um, change, reduce groundwater extraction to, um, to discourage excessive water use. Um, and there's lots of ways to do that, obviously. I mean, we're currently looking at, um, at adding a new, a new well. Um, so, you know, we can't have a policy action that says we want to stop pumping so much water and then also build a new $4 million dollar well, right? It's, it, it, it's incongruous. So um, I just think it's, it's probably not intended to, to be read that way. 
Yeah, and maybe now I know I know the state every every year reduces the amount of water we can draw out of the aquifer. Now I don't know, John, could you speak? That's not. No, we have a ten-year permit. It's yeah. it's every ten years. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. we can hear you. Um, um, yeah, basically, basically, basically what, what, what's being said there is <laughs> We have to have a new water source. And I'd be sure to do water in the rest of the John, we're getting a lot of feedback, so I think we need to see if we can fix that. Otherwise, we really can't hear you. But to, to address your point, Phil, yeah. and I'm, I don't want to interrupt. You may know, no, you may know, yeah, to interrupt, John. But yeah, so we have a 10 year. Um, with the water withdrawal permit, you know, and, and we just got um, the revised number, and so it did go down. You're right; it, yeah. it went down from the previous 10-year period. But the number that we had was, um, yeah, it was 10 years old. So, you know, I think that the expectation is that we're going to meet that um, withdrawal, yeah. and um, and that we will continue to grow. And and as we continue to grow, we'll um, require that new building has low flow toilets. Um, we'll work on decreasing unaccounted for water. Right now it's at under 10 percent, which is a really good number. Um, the state requires it to be under 10 percent, so we're, we meet that threshold. There's lots of things we can do to discourage, again, excess of water use and water waste, which is what we want to do. Um, I don't know that um, we could build a well and say we're going to decrease water. Right, right, it just right. doesn't make sense to me. So right, you know, yeah, It's right. just a word. And, yeah. and so you would like to change it to... Um, Instead of reduces, discourages, or sure that discourages uh, excessive water use um, and, and and discourages waste. Does anyone else have any thoughts on that? I mean, I think, convince me. I think okay. <laughs> so I, so if, if people are good, so let's just make sure we have the wording. Do you, do you have that? Um, so I'll re we uh, amend the section that says reduce a program that reduces groundwater extraction diversion to. Uh, a program that discourages excessive water use and waste. Water, water use and waste. Yeah. Are there any other, any other comments or other amendments people would like to make? So um, I'll make a motion to accept the language as, as Glenn um, stated. We have a second. I second it. Glenn seconded it, so we will do our vote. Um, so again, Ashley, I'll start off with you. Um, I'm good with that as, as I'm good with, that. with Glenn's comments. Sorry, Glenn. I'm hearing myself three times. I vote aye. I vote aye. <coughs> she, she said I vote aye. Aye. Aye, thank you. And John? Yeah, I'm going with I think he said he would go with it. Okay, yes, John, thank you. Yeah. And then uh, Carrie? Andrew? Yes. Janet? Yes. Jen? Yes. Mike? Yes. Katie? Yes. And myself is yes. 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 Yeah. So that's that's uh, uh, ten zero zero. Okay. The second item, uh, number two. Uh, by the way, that was from 3.3 in, in the original plan, and then the second, number two, is from 3.2 in, in the, the, the ones we discussed last meeting. Um, number two, work with federal, state, local, and private parties to clean up identified brownfields. Um, and, and other existing and other, contaminated others, lands yeah, to others. reduce the risk of future contamination. contamination. Yeah. So, so my, my hold well, um, was really, it's, it's a great bullet point. Um, it was a, a main rec well, a main recommendation 3.2. Are we by keeping it under the policy for water? Are we missing some of the, the other important pieces to this um, around um, you know potential redevelopment of those lands and repurposing of those lands? Um, so that's a good point. I don't know if anyone caught the uh, the element column of the table as well. So those uh, acronyms, so to speak, are supposed to represent where that uh, action item also relates to a different element within the plan. So like that item is, like it, it, to your point, Mike, could also probably fold in with maybe economic development. Could also, if, if that is kind of where you're... Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? 
So we could add it to that elements to add column. Add to that elements column. Okay. Thank you for that explanation. I'm, I'm losing the whole thing. Yeah, so uh, economic development and um, maybe land use or, well, or, or, how, or housing. I don't you know what, what you mentioned that building well, on ground or. Land use should say yes, right? So it should. Yeah. So Although, it could be a land use item, so it probably yeah. needs to be amended. So we could say amended, including land use as well as in the economic development yeah. section. Any other comments? I guess technically, oh. could we also put municipal facilities? Because if you look at yeah. um, South Street, all of that turned into municipal buildings. Yeah. It could be housing, too. It could yeah. really, really it could be anything. <laughs> <That's sort> really, <laughs> it yeah. could. Um, You're right. We could make that note. So, I mean, we could, I guess I'm assuming we could make the motion to add it and then maybe have Judy further explain that if we feel that it's meeting multiple elements. Could Do we just report it as such or should yeah. we yeah. add it? Okay, so my hold stands. You up? <laughs> I, I, I think we're gonna, we just we're, change, I don't know what we do with it. We change it or? Well, all we're changing, I think, is the elements that it's, it's in. I, I, yeah, but so I guess the point is, could it also fold into municipal services? Could it fold into housing? Could it fold into economic development? If it does everything, we could also put it as such and then maybe also have Judy explain it on yep. the 27th. Okay. And come back to it. So why don't we just put a hold on it and, and not vote on it, and we'll let her come back on it. All right, but I can so have those notes. For that's her. A, sure. Yeah. So we won't we won't even do a vote on that. Okay. okay we won't. And um, and then the next hold was uh, on, so, no, on nine. So I was just in the if, before we move on to the yeah. section. I was going to um, just wanted to discuss a possible addition. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. As a policy action and, and we can just talk about it and maybe um, move it to the next meeting and uh, you know so I, I might just want to ask Judy in the bad planning group why it's not in there so it, this has to do with the um, investing you know how do we preserve our, our clean water and drinking water quality um, so investing in the infrastructure uh, we have a, an, an well, I, I'm gonna call it an annual pipe replacement program it's most years we borrow the town town meeting will approve borrowing to, um, to replace a certain amount of pipes. You know, it's usually around two, three million dollars. Um, and we've done that most years, and maybe John has a comment on this too, but uh, but there was one year we skipped because of COVID and we were, you know, questioning, you know, what was gonna happen and didn't want to overspend, not knowing what the economy was gonna do. So that was probably a good decision. And there was and there was another year where um, it almost didn't, um, didn't happen. And so I, I think, I guess my, my comment is, um, is do we put in here uh, invest in the uh, you know in upgrading old pipes with an annual pipe replacement program, um, or is that just necessary? Or is it just based on budget? You know, I, I, I think that would be appropriate to put it in here. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, it's it's in a power and a lot of others that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not automatic. I guess the yeah. reason if it was automatic, then I wouldn't say anything because it's like. It's like putting it here, open yeah. town hall on but time every morning. Like, no, it's, it's we're it does, just going to do that. But it does by putting it in, it makes a priority out of it. Yeah. Now, what we could do for new ones is, is maybe not vote on them and let Judy comment on them. Yeah, and, and yeah. most people yeah. here are on town yeah. meeting, yeah. so you guys it. vote on this stuff. I mean, I, I, is I it agree so with obvious that we're going to do it, or is yeah. it worth mentioning and highlighting? Oh, I, I, no, I think, I first yeah. of all, everything's worth mentioning. Okay. Um, I, I don't think we should shy away from that. Yeah. Um, and second, so, so my suggestion was, was documenting all the changes and maybe have Judy come back and yeah that, does that failing make sense? failing infrastructure was one of the key points in the in the goal and the recommendation to begin with and it's yeah. not it's not in in the policy so yeah we probably should get her to add, add yeah. it back yeah. Yeah. Okay. so under, is that so a second is, is that, that separate in the municipal services section as well so this is just natural resources so what well, this is specifically it was, on the it, water. Was, it was under the, the water the aquifer yeah. and water um, recommendation yeah. right. but it didn't make it in here is that it, right yeah okay so just want to make sure did you grab did you capture that yeah um, what, are we gonna have to repeat that yeah. <laughs> uh, invest in uh, infrastructure by upgrading old pipes with an annual pipe replacement program old water pipes so what we'll do is after the meeting we will accumulate all of the additions and send it out to the committee 
and then and then so people can have a chance to look at it more and also send it, you know, Judy will review it. And get can, I, it can I make, um, <coughs> Glenn, can I make a recommendation that maybe, maybe we, um, if we broaden that a little bit to be, a, you know, basically, a, and I'm not an expert on the water stuff, so I, but just to um, assess um, antiquated and, and failing infrastructure and make those updates as and, as needed I mean I would say annually assess I mean yeah. which I think we do anyways yeah, yeah. I would say continue to, to assess and and invest yeah and, and obviously if that budget restraints and you absolutely and pipes would be one example right yeah. or is that is that cool with everybody or is, do you want to keep it specific no to, that's fine yeah Works for me. So I mean, that could certainly add this. I just we do also have the municipal facilities and service section that does go into basically uh, inventory and preventative maintenance programs. Continue to implement the water, sewer, sidewalk, stormwater infrastructure following okay. recommendations. So I mean, it might it may also kind of double dip, but that could also it could it might I guess relate back to that elements table where if we're talking be, about water quality and yeah. ways to improve it, I, I, I'd be more. I guess we say it twice then. I say we here, yeah. we say it somewhere else. I want all that. Yeah. Yep. But as you, you, the point you're raising too, Pat, is that, that other, the other one raises the, the more in, the broader infrastructure Correct. things as well. Yeah, yeah. So let's yeah let's hyper focus so, on water quality here. Yep. So good. Why don't we present these and then we can have Judy come back with us and she may change where things sit in the you know under what goal they're under under and you know or, or, or just add it. Yeah, we, I don't know that we have to vote on it today. I mean, I'd, I'd be would, happy to. I, I yeah. was not good. I would okay. suggest we not vote. I would on the want new feedback ones. from. Yeah, I suggested we not vote minutes. on the new ones. We just accumulate all of them, and then we, we you know, have the, the committee has a chance to look at them, and Judy has a chance to look at them. Okay. So, um, so that was um, the number nine. Develop pond management plans for Parks, Turners, and Cobbs. We could probably vote on mine because it's super minute. <laughs> I just think the pawns should be listed alphabetically so that it doesn't infer a preference. So that when you read it, you don't think that there's a, it was, you know, studied and prioritized. I think that they should just be alphabetical. Uh, I could put that as just a note. To yeah, have. Yep. that's fine. Do we need to, yeah, so we do need to vote on it because we didn't vote on that one before, so. Um, I'm sorry, what was the change? So she, she must have put them in alphabetical order, the pond names in alphabetical order. Sure. Because that, that way it implies some priority. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's, there's not. Oh, understood. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So uh, any, so do you want to make a note motion, um, Kate? Um, I make a motion to amend to alphabetize the ponds. Second. Second by Katie, uh, by Carrie. Um, and I'll do any other discussion? So we'll do a roll call. So again, uh, um, Ashley. Um, I yes, thank you. And John. Is that an I? What, John, what, what was that, John? Can you hear me? Can you Ashley, maybe you heard it better than we did. No, no, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be in those town meetings. John, one more, one more time. I think I put your hand up, thumbs up or thumbs down. Aye. Aye. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Patrick in the back. Okay, and then uh, Carrie. Janet or Andrew? Sorry, Andrew. Yes. Janet. Aye. Jen. Yes. Glenn. Yes. Mike. Yeah. Amy and myself. Yes. So that is again ten zero zero. And number, and then item number ten: pursue grants to resolve culvert, dam, and bridge upgrades and flood proofing issues, including drainage-driven flooding, structural shortcomings, and adverse environmental impacts. That was me again. Uh, this is an area that is really, I guess I'm kind of passionate about it. I think it's really important to the town. I think it contributes to, um, when, we, when we talk later about uh, flood um, prevention, um, I, I actually look at what happened at Norwood Hospital and the flood that resulted over there was partially because of culverts that were undersized and stormwater management that wasn't um, you know, what, what it needed to be. And so, you know, 
improving this infrastructure is a, is a big, big deal. So my only hold, obviously I don't want to, I mean I want to do more, not less. So my only hold is it says pursue grants. The reason for my hold is because it says pursue grants, and I think we should do more than, than just pursue grants. I think we should pursue grants and local funding. I mean, I think we have a capital plan in Walpole, and, I, and if we just say pursue grants, then there will be some grants sometimes that, we will, that will be competitive that we might or might not get. That's great. We should do that. Uh, we should also um, add it to our capital plan. That's just my opinion. I think that's a good point. Yeah. Otherwise, we, if we never get a grant, we won't do anything. Right, yeah. um, so do you want to come up with another... Uh, uh, pursue and local funding. If, if we just said pursue funding. grants and local funding, okay. uh, 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 pursue, uh, pursue multiple funding uh, sources. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, or well, pursue, pursue yeah. grants or locally fund. Um, I mean, local funding means local, the tax yeah. the tax base yeah. is going to uh, contribute. I mean, but yeah. but we have or, a, or we make that decision. I mean, we could specifically that. say you know the cap you know add, add to our capital planning. Yeah. That might be more specific than people want to get. I would be okay with it if, if, if I said, work into our five-year capital plan, these things. Yeah. No, that that would, would be awesome, in my opinion. I, I yeah, was maybe. thinking the committee might not want to go that far. but uh, I, I would go that far. Glenn, um, Glenn could, could, do you mind if I ask a question on that? And yeah. So there's a couple of, couple of points in, in other documents as well um, where a lot of these are just their goal or develop a plan or do this. Many of them are going to result in... Um, Money, right? They're, they're going to need money from? to get yeah. to get stuff done. Um, I I just want to be consistent in all the others and just say, is this is this something that we should be doing in the master plan to say, how get, get money, like or well, uh, well then we or, take or out or the we just understood that these are going to cost money. Then we then we start and then the first word in this case would be resolve, resolve, culvert, Durham and bridge, you know. Um, that, yeah. Infrastructure issues, you know, instead of pursue grants, is like saying let's only do this one thing. That's good, and then when we get to the others, we can follow that same logic so and get rid of it. If we did that, is like you know, mm -hmm. find a way to find a way to do it. Yeah, we're almost not saying how. I, we're I agree doing. that that's 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 better. Yeah. Although I think I think we do need to. Sh I think I think according to the uh, state statute, it shows you need to show how you can so, practically so do these things. So that does I, I do think that does weaken it a little bit because that, we're okay. almost. I, I do think we could actually say you know work into a five year capital plan certain things, and then certain things we don't go that far. Um, we don't say, you know, and then if, if we do, then that's a decision that's ultimately made, but we're not saying it. So I, I think some things belong on the capital plan and some things don't. Oh, okay. And so we could decide in some cases, I feel like that's a, a strong statement to make. And we wouldn't do it in a lot of places. We would do it, I'm suggesting we might do it here. If you didn't want to go that far, then we could just make it broader and say local funding opportunities. Um, so I, I feel like, I guess what I'm, uh, let me just summarize. There's two options that I that I see, or maybe three even, is is, is just say resolve this issue, find a way to do it, resolve it. Um, as Phil said, I think we're statutory. You really have required to, have, to have, have something that's actionable. You know, so that's, the, the other um, something option is or... let's work into a five-year capital plan these things, and the, and that's a str that's probably the strongest one. And then somewhere in the middle is um is you know pursue grants and local and funding, funding. Oh. Yeah. which is probably in the middle and maybe a more reasonable approach. Um, I would be okay with the one in the middle and the stronger approach, personally. But any other discussion? No, no, that was that was perfect. Thank you. Um, and, and again, Judy, we're, we're, Judy will have a chance to weigh in on these and give us her, you know, her professional advice, you know, before. So we won't vote on, on um, we won't vote on a, a, um, the. Um, I, I think. So if, if you want to bring this up just next to, time and, and just yeah, so my and, goal and is to make you, it stronger language. I, I think you do the stronger language uh, unless the, and people don't want the stronger language. Um, yeah, uh, could, I, could I make a comment on that? She's asking if you can make a comment. Yeah, of course. I, yes. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I can um, hear you. The problem, the problem that that's a state mandate, the stormwater management very newly adopted, is that that was they don't fund their mandates, and uh, the problem with this whole plan here, if you priced out everything, all the all the wants and all the want to be programs that are being put in here, uh, the town would go broke. No one could afford to live here, uh, so. We've got to be careful of how strong you word these things. If uh, the, the way it is today, uh, if there's undeveloped land and someone goes to build there, then the, the new stormwater regulations will require them to improve those stormwater resources. 
and uh, that's the way in anything in the future as far as upgrades and improvements when there's any economic activity uh, the, the parties that are doing it pay for the infrastructure improvements for the town uh, versus the town taxpayers being uh, required to uh, fund broad municipal undertakings that uh, could be multi multi million dollar projects so I think we just have to be careful. Uh, the expectations of all these projects, if someone priced it out, you wouldn't have anybody supporting your uh, master plan. Yeah, uh, and, and I, I, did, I think a lot of what John was talking about was stormwater management, which we will be doing in goal eight. Um, it, it's actually, I know, I know I mentioned stormwater management and I probably shouldn't have. Um, I was more referencing the, the culverts, the dams and the bridge upgrades um, and flood proofing issues. So. Um, yeah, I, I think stormwater is going to come up later, anyways. Right. Um, it, you know, John's talking about the MS4 permit, which yeah. does, which he's right. It does have a lot of um, requirements that are that are not uh, inexpensive. Um, but yeah, that's almost like a later question. And some of that would be a prior, you know, the a list. Uh, it would be the priorities that town, the town makes for what where we spend our money on those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so so. Are we good going with your language then? Yeah, I actually think local funding is better because yeah. there was so, because culverts and dams and bridge upgrades are all being lumped together. Yeah, um, I think local funding is okay. probably a, a so, better. So, so you will write that up, and that'll be another another one we will present. Yeah, yeah. that's a yeah. okay. so no vote on that today. No, no yeah. vote on okay. that. Yeah, do you have that note, Pat? Um, Pursue yeah. grants and local funding. Yeah, yeah. Okay. thanks. <laughs> Okay, so with that, I think we finished the first the first section. And then we're gonna to go to go seven, transportation. And then we're supposed to do the same thing. Um, and I will mention where you know, how things link back to the recommendations that we voted on. Um, at the, the last meeting, um, last two meetings. So, uh, goal seven, transportation and circulation, address traffic congestion and improve alternative modes of travel, including walking, biking, and connections to parking for public transit. Uh, the, the first one is policy 7A, improve pedestrian and bicycle facilities for people of all ages and abilities. So this was 7.1 when we did the, the vote, um, you know, the last, the last meeting. So it consists of, of um, a number of, act of recommendations. Number one, maintain sidewalks and pedestrian ramps so that they are ADA compliant. Um, any, anyone wants to put a hold on that? I'm gonna hold two, three, four, and five just so you know. Two, three, and four, okay. <laughs> so I'll read them off just so. Sure, yeah. yeah. Construct new bicycle lanes and shared use pedestrian and bicycle facilities. So that is a hold. Mike Glenn? Does, if I had a question on that, do I have to put a hold on it as well, or is it we just talk about um, it? Yeah, it both you, you, one hold. Yeah, but one hold. Both, both of you can speak. All right. um, fill, th number three, fill gaps in the existing sidewalk network and provide connections to the downtown area between adjacent neighborhoods. And Glenn, you have a hold on that? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it all kind of ties yeah. together. And then number four, develop a town-wide pedestrian and bicycle plan. You do? Glenn did. No, Glenn did. I mean, I yeah. do too, actually, yeah. but yeah. Glenn did. Um, number five, register for the Department of DOT Safe Routes to School Program. Yeah. Hold. Number six is upgrade crosswalks townwide to improve safety and production for pedestrians and be more visible to motorists at all times. And I might put a hold on that one actually. Um, number, and then uh, policy 7.B is improve mobility, safety, accessibility, and connectivity for all modes in the downtown area and develop a sense of place. 
number seven, and by the way, this this policy statement comes from 7.3 when we did the the, um, the other recommendations. Number seven, make transportation infrastructure friendly to an aging population such as wide sidewalks, raised on street parking spaces, etc. So that's no hold. Number eight. Are, are we? Oh, no, I want to hold on. Okay, eight. sorry. Oh, sorry. No, that's all right. Oh, eight. Yeah, I want to hold on eight. What? Oh, oh, that was seven. 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 So seven. 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 No. Yes. Seven. Eight. Is the one I would like to hold. On. Seven and eight. Yeah. Okay. Should we just do votes on each one of these? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> we're approaching that point. Yeah. Maybe you're, you're it doesn't make any sense otherwise. <laughs> so why don't we go back? Okay. And will the will the element portion should that hold should should that create a hold or a question if the the multiple elements aren't there? Oh, so you mean that they didn't put that in in the? So yeah, I think, well, I like think there's we're in the transportation yeah, document I, and the element is transportation, but like all, all the stuff with. Biking and um, ADA should be probably connected to open space and recreation. That's a good point. Though. Yeah. So I mean, I think that yeah, it's worth and a maybe, hold. Just maybe to, we don't just need to do a vote on I mean, those it's all things. Over. Okay. But we yeah. could just we could just note them and and send them out to Judy. To, okay. Because I, 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 I don't think one, I don't think we need to do a vote on Sorry. those kind of things. But 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 no. But let's 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 make sure that we you know she updates them. The, the sense I got right, the, uh, Patrick. This yeah. is still she's still they're still refining this. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So. So there's going to be things that they miss, but we, you know, our job is to help them make sure we don't miss things that are important to us. Yep. Can I just make a no. general comment? I'm sorry, Phil, to interrupt. I don't mean to be rude. No, that's right. Um, but I felt like this is a good spot to jump in. So at the beginning I had said about the adopt, implement, consider, explore, and then on we had just labored, put a lot of time into looking at number 10, and you said that we have to have action items, stronger language like for example, and I'm probably quoting this wrong, but like you said, pursue grants or local funding, Yeah. right? So if we look at every single one of these, none of them does that. So that's what I think I need Judy to give clarification on how some of them, why would we have to do it for some of them and not have to do it? Yeah, there should be a whole box for funding. So in fact, the, the open space and recreation plan does that. If I remember correctly, they had a whole separate column like, for funding. Um, just for example, if you go through Local quickly and grants. look at each one, maintain, construct, fill gaps, develop, register, upgrade. So why would we use words like that on those, but on this one we have to say funding, pursue grants and local funding. So I, I'm I not saying one is correct or incorrect, but I'd like clarification yeah. on that because that's that was part of what I got hung up on when I was going through these was how some of them are very specific so, and some of them aren't. The one way I can answer that, if that helps at all, is some of these sections were done by sub, not all done by Barrett. Some were done by Beta, some were done by Martha Lyons and Associates, because Judy her and her team, it's Judy Barrett and consultants, but then there's some sections, I think transportation in particular, and like uh, facilities, municipal facilities. But we need consistency. Exactly. Yeah. So I think, it's, I think that issue is because it was done by another sub consultant. That, so that that's just a. Yeah. I don't want to no, sidetrack so, so. us, but that's something I would like addressed. Yeah, that's all. I, I agree. So good we point. need more. It's a very good point. More consistency. Um, in my reading of the, uh, and I wish I had brought it along with me. The, the um, actually the stature that defines the, the, uh, um, the elements for a master plan. Um, the last one specifies what the plan has to be. And I believe it says it has to be practical. You know, there has to be it has to be shown to be. It can't be something the town could never do. Um, pie in the sky kind yeah. of things. Um, now, how far it has to go as far as what kind of, of funding? Um, I guess I would have to defer to to, to Judy right now. I don't now. think it has to go that far. That far perfectly yeah. honest. Yeah. But a, but a funding column that would give yeah. suggestions as to how the money can be raised, either through um, local funding or grants or whatever, would, would be yeah. helpful, right? No, I'm having yeah. flashbacks to the open space plan. That's exactly what it did. It, yeah. it would say grants, borrowing, yeah. um, you know, federal funding if it's available, local funding. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I may be way off, but I thought with the last one, it was up to the actual implementation committee to try and steer that. So I don't know. I mean, maybe we put all the different sources available. Maybe we have a column, yeah. um, and then we let them decide what's yeah. available and what's best at that point yeah. in time. Yeah. I don't know. I, so, I don't think we have to show funding for everything because otherwise, 
you know, th these are things that could be 10 years away. So the one care. thing I guess you could say is like yeah. the, re the, the column for resources needed, mm. maybe that could be expanded upon and that could yeah, be maybe. kind of the way. Actually, in the, in the top one, it says chapter 90 funding. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so we, if we use that to, so maybe to say public funding. Action, yeah. Instead of putting it in the action, we put it, put there. it in, in the resources. resources. Needed. Yep. Okay. I like that. Great. So, all right. So are we good then? We don't need to go back then. I, no, I, not at yeah, all. Okay, no. Just make sure we're. Before we vote on one, I just had a general comment. So it says maintain sidewalks and pedestrian ramps so they're ADA compliant. I almost feel like we need to have something that's like review our current procedures for what we do. I'm thinking specifically of the um, intersection of 1A and Greenwood, where they put the ramp, but the street is so narrow and people cut that corner and it's now broken. And if somebody were using it in a wheelchair, they would not be able to access it. It's full of ruts and holes. So I don't know if we can, like, what our current policy is, but they, I think someone said, oh, we'll check a box that's ADA compliant, but then the way the street is actually used, it's been destroyed and it's no longer. Is that under construction? The green, yeah. Where's Greenwood? It's like, it's like across from the floral, like a little bit down from oh, Dapper Tandy's. Oh, okay. it's, that, gotcha. it's that cut through from yeah. Common, then to Lewis, down Greenwood to 1A, and everybody, and so I know, you know, the buses use it in the morning, so they take up most of it, so people cut, so if you're coming from 1A, like from the South Walpole Fields towards the center of town and you want to take a right, most people cut that real close and they've now driven over like that part that's like a um, maroon color and almost looks like it's got bumps like a Lego um, and it's ruined. So just, I, rather than just maintaining it, it's like I think we're, we have to make sure we're doing it, you know, I don't know how we can do that in our current plan, but it's really, but I think the goal is to, uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong, is to have a document that we can point to and say, look, you're not doing number one. Yeah. You need to go fix, you know, this and to make it maintain, maintain, repair, and replace. And, but we like, I, I don't and know. And it, feels and like it has to be. It has to still be and, ADA compliant. So yeah. If it, if but I feel being, like we're, we've wasted money, right? If we had just thought about how the way right. the, the yeah. or materials or whatever. But if we had just thought about the way that the road is used, like it wasn't. I don't. I just want to throw that out there. It doesn't have to be in the well, plan, but I just wanted. It's that's, like when you see a path that someone puts in, but then there's like the grass that's missing because everyone takes the path of least resistance. So yeah. it's the same thing. People are taking that corner constantly yeah. and it's, yeah. And it may be, Jen, because it says maintain sidewalks so they are ADA compliant. If, if, if it's being broken, then that's, it's not being maintained to be ADA compliant. Um, I'm just playing. I just feel like to me in my mind that was that we wasted resources and materials and we've made something that's not functional for the people that need it the most. Mm. That's all. I don't know where it goes, but I just want to put that out there. Yeah. I mean, if you want to amend it or anything, you... No, I don't know, because I, I don't know. I, maybe I'll just put it out there, and when Judy and her team listen to this, they can think about if there's a way to incorporate it. But okay. I just feel okay. like... Yeah, no. It, it, like, I feel like maintain is fine, except that, like, let's not do it wrong from the, wrongly from the start, if we can. That, well, that's where it's like... I don't want to tell you what to do, but do you want to maybe put a hold on it, and maybe we'll want to... We can ask Pat to give the feedback to Judy. How do we strengthen this language? And I don't know if what the answer is. Maybe they say yeah. that's as strong as it gets. I, I mean, know. if you all think that this is fine, I just wanted to put it out there. Jim, so. you, would you say it's specific to that in terms of ADA infrastructure, or would you be more like evaluate traffic patterns for 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 proper use and change? You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, or, like, I guess they don't. A clause yeah. at the end, like you know, with consideration for relevant traffic patterns, right? Sure. Or, specific traffic patterns. I'm less worried when yeah. people cut the corner and it just takes someone's grass. Like yeah. this is just, it's now totally non-functional for the purpose. Oh yeah. It's intended. But I guess I think more town wide yeah. rather than the one intersection, can it be also be yeah. grown to, you know, to look at all situations that may be arise and be similar. So I don't, I don't know what the solution all is. Right. I just wanted to put it out there. But if you want to, but if you want to amend it or if you want to, you know, submit something to, to the committee, to Judy, I think we should do that. Um, Jen, I have to look at it. Yeah. So just like the thing that Glenn's going to draft on yeah. the previous section, yes. Jen could spend some time yeah. thinking about it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, so why don't we hold off on voting for it and give a, a chance yeah. to make sense for review? Yeah. Okay. So in my own, so my only comments back to Judy would be that the elements should be updated to reflect um, probably rec, probably community health and probably municipal services. Yeah, so we can give her that feedback. Um, I mean, I don't know what level they want to go down in that because you could probably end up putting a lot of 
elements in it. You know. There is a lot of overlap, yeah. but at the same time, I think it's, it's a, helpful to relate back to it. I don't know. Right. I mean, that's. Yeah. I, I mean, ideally, you'd go across and say, okay, show me everything that impacts, you know, community health. And right. I think that sure, means. You know, make sure you're not double dipping and, you know, you're and, looking. And imagine, too, for implementation, it also helps to highlight that this section doesn't just help out transportation, it helps out this, Correct. that, and that. So for funding, it might be a good way yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. But we would definitely give her that feedback, yeah. Judy. Yeah. Yep. Um, so construct new bicycle lanes. Um, now you want me to jump in? So yep. two, three, and four. Yep. I, I think the first, my first comment is just more of a, of a like presentation comment, which is number four. It seems like it should be number one because everything after it talks about town-wide pedestrian and bicycle improvement. So, um, so developing a town-wide pedestrian bicycle plan, when I got to that, I was like, oh, that's what we talked about for mm -hmm. number one, number two, number three. So I just feel like it should start. Um, I agree. I think yeah. that the interplay the between, order. well, you, yeah. it, may, it might not even, it might be a little bit more in depth than, than that because I just don't understand the interplay between the town-wide plan and then the previous goals, which seem like they would be things that would fall under that plan. So it's, it's just a little bit unclear and perhaps redundant. So maybe it should be four and these should be four A, four B, and four C. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of how yeah. you, you should structure it, but it does, it does seem like... You're done. Yes. Yeah, I agree. That was, that was my comment on that as well, for two and four, at least. So, so three could be a little bit... I would imagine three is a little bit not entirely related to, to bicycle and transportation. So maybe we should do four first. Is that what... It was four first, but then also, to Carrie's point, um, what are we really saying? <laughs> we, and and maybe said, we maybe we need it. to hear more about what goes into a townwide pedestrian and bicycle plan because I've never seen one, and I don't. Maybe maybe we have a misconception about what that actually is. Right. I mean, I, I definitely do not want to downplay the sidewalk piece because I think that came up over and over and over again in community feedback and it should be a high priority in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think we just could use some guidance and clarification about this redundancy. Yeah, because I think, I think a, a, a town-wide pedestrian and bicycle plan would, as we said, would, would constitute some of the other mm -hmm. items here. You, you would construct new bicycle lanes and shared use pedestrian and bicycle facilities, so. So, um, yeah. Okay, on that, so I, I agree. Um, and maybe we can get some feedback so, from the better planning group on that. So yeah, so, so we, why don't we send this back to Judy and give comments that um, maybe um, reordering it, make it more clear what's in the plan and how they overlap. And maybe, maybe some- Could I make a comment on bicycle pass? Um, I'd say what? Comment on bicycle I'm yep. distressed at the places they've painted bicycle paths on North Street and High Street uh where the street width is 12 or 13 feet wide i think it's just uh, a murder looking to happen um they probably should look into areas that we already have plenty of bicycle bicycling opportunities that really aren't accessible like adam's farm you've got four 400 acres of paths up there if you could make it more accessible to bicycles it'd be a lot safer riding bikes and certainly and a lot less expensive for the town uh, and so it's creating bodies off of North Street and High Street. Uh, some places I, I just don't think uh, it's feasible to have bike paths and it's dangerous. Did, did somebody catch all that? Yeah, he, he thinks that so on, Fish, on uh, North Street and High Street, um, there's a bike um, in, indicators on the road. Uh, yeah. And there's not enough room for, for, for the cars to ride alongside the bikes. Um, as as you would in maybe Cambridge or, or whatever. Oh, 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 but the, yeah, and bikes but, have but, the right but, away. But though. bikes still are going to be there. But they have the right away. They have the right, right away, away, and they're still going to be there. So instead yeah. of doing nothing, the town has painted the bike markers to let cars know that the bikes may or may not be sharing the road with them. Yeah. Uh, and I think to John's point, from what I understood, is he doesn't feel like that's safe. Um, but it, it is what the town has been doing. Well, yeah. I, I think I think he also said we make a point to highlight other areas in town where people can ride bikes more safe. sa safely. So, But there's two issues there. There's recreational bike riding in Adams Farm, and then there's having to drive your bike down High Street to get to where you need to go. So 
But I believe bicycles have the right of, of riding on the road, mm -hmm. and I think those markings on High Street and but, but accidents just, happen. For safety, I, I guess he was just he was just saying that. Right. Um, but I think but there's a distinction I think between recreational bike riding and you know having to take your bike to work or at school or whatever, and I, you have to go down that road. So maybe that distinction has to be in here somewhere. But I don't think those are there to encourage people to ride more. I think they're they're there because people ride their bikes there, and you want to let drivers know they could be riding there. Because bicycles do have, if, if I understand it right, they have a right of, to be on the road anywhere. Um, they, yeah, they do. Yes, they so, do. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Ashley, I knew she was going to tell me. Ashley? You said yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. They, they do. I believe they do. And I think uh, that is the, a distinction to make. And I think that people use their bicycles for recreation and for commuting. I used to ride my bike to town hall. Yep. So, so I don't think they're there for the. For, I mean, they're, they're there for a safety reason. Mm -hmm. huh? Yep. No, I, we were just. I, I think I was just saying what John said on the phone. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So yeah. on the oh, subject, so, num if I can, numbers two and three. Um, so I think number four. I just want to make sure, John. But John, do you are you all right with that, or do you want to add something, or do you want to make a proposal change? Propose change. I don't want to. Um, no, I, I just think you should have language that would say uh, to explore a better utilization of uh, existing bicycle opportunities and bicycle, bicycle path opportunities uh, in, in public domain where we have uh, these uh, farms and reservations for the public for passive recreation. If they have pathways already, that's worth a fortune compared to trying to build new bike paths, particularly in places where there's no land available or the highway's too narrow. So I don't know how you word that, but uh, and I just I don't think that the bicycles on a, on a public way, they, they have uh, not have a right way over a car. They have a right way to be in their lane or be on the sidewalk. I, I didn't really catch any much of that. Sorry, sorry. I don't know if somebody else so I had a, uh, caught what he said. I had a hold on, think, okay. on two, so three, and four. We talked ahead. about four. Yeah. If I can, just real quick. So this yeah. is on the same subject that we're talking about right now. So yeah. uh, two and three. So my hold on two and three was, um, I read two, and, and it's great, uh, and, and I agree with it. But it's um, it seems truncated, actually. And when I read three, I was excited because I'm like, that's it, exactly what I want to say in number two. So I think that if we had sort of like a list of, um, so for, all right, let me read number three, fill gaps in the existing sidewalk network and provide connections to the downtown area between adjacent neighborhoods to schools, parks, commuter rail, town buildings, um, and MBTA bus stops. Awesome. That's for sidewalks. I think we should do the same thing for bikes. I don't, I don't, I literally want the exact same language as number three to be in number two, except substitute the word bicycle for, or bicycle lanes for, um, for sidewalks. And, 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 does that make sense? That, that we would just have that fill gaps, the existing bike lane, because we have existing bike lanes, so we have, do we, we want to fill the gaps in the existing bike lane network, and then I just want to have the exact same language as number three from there on. Substitute sidewalk for bike lane. Did I say that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are people all right with that? Yeah, Did it make, does that make sense what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I would say there's a little difference, I think, between the, the sidewalks and the bicycle lanes, because some places you can't put lanes in. No, but, yeah. but we want to fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. You know, I'm not saying put bike lanes everywhere no, no. all the time. I'm right. saying where there are gaps, let's let's fill them. Right, right. And then I right. just want to have that language of, of parks and commuter rails and downtown right. and, and schools. And I mean, that's right. where we no, want to I fill the gaps. Yep. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I'm proposing that we just mirror the language of number three with number two. Yeah. I, I'm only anticipating there are some places you're, you're probably not doing bicycle lanes. Absolutely. I know, yeah. I know someone, A. Um, I thought they were going to have a bicycle lane the whole way on the new reconstruction 1A. I thought they would too. It doesn't look like they will. Cause I, well, I, I don't see how that's going to fit in based on where they're putting in the sidewalk. Last curbs. I heard, there were going to be yeah. bike lanes on both sides. Yeah, so it may be a bike lane, but it may be a little thinner in places, I think. Okay. There'll still yeah. be a bike lane. Yeah. yeah right. but, but why don't we, so if you want to suggest that. So, so I think going back to Judy with two, three, and four, as we said in one, right? That's what we said we're doing. Sure. So, so I guess to, going to make sure I'm not losing absolutely go back to Judy. I just I'm, I'm not here on the 27th. I don't want right. it to get lost in the. No, no. So <laughs> I think we're going to capture the, the comment yeah. you just made. Okay. That you want you want two to be pretty well the same language as three. Basically, to substitute the word yeah. bicycle. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think that. Yep. No, that's that's it. it. Yeah. And keep four as is. 
Uh, well, I think that that's a whole that separate issue where we I, talk about moving four up, oh, yeah. and then I, I also getting a better explanation. I think people are looking for what a plan is. Or, or, re or remove it. Or remove you're it. you're basically yeah. laying out a plan here and then saying develop a plan. So you, yeah. it's, all, yeah, it's, it's redundant. It's redundant. Yeah. Or, or maybe there's more to a plan than really is in the other. That's other fine, but they, issues. it's yeah. not clear. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can't get rid of me yet. I had number five as well. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've already registered for Mass Safe Boots. I, I um, approached the schools, I don't know when, six months ago, um, and some of the schools had registered, and the superintendent uh, brought it up at her um, leadership meeting, and they've all since registered, um, she told me. So we've already registered. So I may, maybe I would just um, substitute the word register for participate, because you can actually be, be in the Safe Boots programs but do nothing. So I would, I mean, you can apply for grants. So I would just say participate, and make the best out of the Safe Boots program, okay, Safe Boots to School. Yeah, that's good. It's a that's sub good. register. It's cool. Yeah. It was good. We already we registered. Already in, yeah. All the, Continu all the continue to participate. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if this needs to be in the the, light, the plan, but there's certain issues or projects already underway that sort of impact that. One being potentially a traffic light at Elm Street mm -hmm. School, and the other being sort of the ongoing issues with the craft line in terms of how it impacts. Um, students in South Walpole getting to school and so I don't know if we need to acknowledge that in here or um, you know say anything about infrastructure or partnership but just wanted to kind of mention that there's some other factors at play and where would you like that um, I, don't, I don't know I don't know if it needs mm. to be there per yeah. se but like yeah. um, I can think about it <clears throat> a little bit like okay if there's no, language but, yeah. I would suggest but okay just sort of wanted that to be. So the traffic light okay. is a specific project that has been identified at Elm Street. Um, the safety issue, and, yes. and, yeah. and 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 I guess if Judy was here, I would ask her this question. But what level of detail? I mean, that sounds it's an important project. I I, 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 mean, I, I think the plan is more you know the master plans for, you know, now but also you're, you're looking out five, ten, in theory twenty years. Although so that might, no, we might no, do that next year. No master year. plan would ever last twenty years, but. Well, five to ten years is what you're looking for. So you're looking to give some, you know, it's, it's the vision, the roadmap. So mm -hmm. how detailed we, we should be, I mean, I wouldn't want to leave anything out, but, but mm -hmm. it, um, so. So the question, yeah. Carrie, yeah. number, number seven, is that, is that's, that's addressing an aging population, but the same could be say, is said for, you know, the students in South Walpole, right? Sure. Well, a number it, of these. It's an accessibility issue, right? It is or an accessibility issue, and I think, you know, number three addresses that, too, because there's, there's a lot of sidewalk gaps. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So, so the plans don't have to have specific, in, you know, streets always or intersections no. to say, you know, to say do something. Um, are those things that are already being addressed, or they're just awareness issues no, right now? I'm sorry. Okay. She was asking you. No, no, go ahead. Well, on the, on the uh, South Walpole uh, craft line. I mean, that's, that's sort of just an re reigniting because. Yeah. 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 So, it's a, so it, right now it's just an awareness issue. There's no action being taken. No, there is. Well, there is. This, the tricky part is I think that from what I understand, the town is tr trying really hard to connect with MassDOT and, and say this is a serious issue for us. and. My understanding is we're not getting a, a lot of collaborative spirit in return. Right. Um, but so there's, I think the awareness is there for the people who live in that part of the community, but it's not, you know, whether or not it's being addressed, it's not necessarily so because we're not paying attention. It's so we could just add that. How about Elm Street? One item, if you want to do that. Elm for. Street, the traffic study's been done. Um, so it's already rolling. So it's, we it's might. Not, it's rolling in the sense of like the need has been identified, and I think it's sort of in the mix for capital. Eventually, I don't know if it's going to be immediate, but so do we do we create an, an, an additional one for accessibility that addresses these things and because I think the aging pop population is good and the ADA stuff is good or do we do we combine them into or maybe there's one that's you know, maybe there's one that's just about school accessibility and then some of the sort of subsumed action steps yeah. would be safe routes to school program continued. Yeah, I, I you think know, it's fair to mention some of those specific things. So those those are things, obviously, that Judy and her team are not going to be aware of. Right. 
So the, we just maybe need to fit them in um, if they're ongoing and important to us. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should just you know, maybe writing up some verbiage that sure. would cover yep. we'll both of those. Yeah. Thank you. And then I had a hold on number six, upgrade crosswalks, because I feel we, the town does a very poor job in marking crosswalks, as someone who crosses a lot. Other towns have markings, so you, when you go over them, you know it's a crosswalk. Um, you know, just doing the white paint, which wears off in some amount of time. Um, so, I, so I feel, I, I know it says upgrade crosswalks, but I, but I feel just we need directions. to improve the way we mark uh, like crosswalks. So I will write something up there. Yeah. Um, is, that is that like flashing beacons, like signalization? Uh, so, so we do have, no, and they're doing, they're doing those, yeah. and, and that's a big help. But, but it's good to have some way that people know there's a crosswalk there when we haven't gotten the beacons or people don't see the beacons. You know. that's so a, crosswalk people, infrastructure yeah. and painting. I feel like those two separate things, because the beacons and the flashing lights, those, those come with the cost. Yep. But paint is a much less cost. Yep. Right. So I think maybe But, but some towns do things like Westwood has a different kind of material. With mm. it. So when people go over it, you like can concrete. tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Press concrete. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I think you know, so, But I just think yeah. we need to do a better job on crossing. Um, just, you know, I've twice, twice in the last six months, we, we almost got hit crossing the crosswalk. Well, we almost got hit crossing a crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Small things. But, but um, we, that was on 1A with the construction. So there was some other mitigating circumstances. But, but it was surprising that it could happen so easily. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, I feel not to be a total a hole, but the word liaison is misspelled in this resources for number five. Can we just make sure <laughs> before we put anything out, everything's spell checked? This is televised. Just <laughs> for the record. I said a hole. I'm surprised. Yeah, you good. You good. <laughs> <laughs> How did that even happen? So, I think we're, we're, we're sending all of these back to Judy mm -hmm. with our comments. So, so um, the credibility, though. Um, and, and Patrick, I can help you if you're yeah. writing up yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah. Um, so 7B, improve the mobility, safety, accessibility, and connectivity for all modes in the downtown area and develop a sense of place. Uh, number seven, so make transportation infrastructure. Oh, no. no, never mind. Go ahead. Make some transportation infrastructure friendly for an aging population. Um, so there was a hold on that. I mean, we're, we're doing all of them over anyways, but I know somebody had, had wanted to comment on it. Um, I think. On which one? Uh, on number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, is everybody good on number seven? Okay. But I don't know if we had a hold on that one. I, I don't think we had a hold. I think that's where I changed to go from. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Should, should we try again and just see if we get through the next without? Maybe we don't need to do each one no, separately. Do, do one at a time. Let's go. Do, do one at a time? But I have to do the vote. If we're going to vote on it, then we have to do the roll call vote. I mean, should, should we send this one back? And just just ha just have a look at it. like why why are we the point. I mean we're, we're gonna go through five pages. We let her do the whole let thing. her read let her look at it again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we want to give a feedback. So why don't we get, why don't we go through just do feedback? We yeah. don't need to vote this on more feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so seven I think everybody was good with. Eight provide streetscape amenities such as street uh, street trees, uh, seating areas and pocket parks, benches and lighting and areas for activities and games. For me, that one just felt a little out of place under transportation. I thought maybe open space. Uh, that, that would seem yeah. to make sense, yeah. right? Agreed. Right? Yeah. So good, good point. Can I jump in? Is that a no. No, I mean, do you have anything else? <laughs> no, <please laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. So just going, so wherever we put it, um, there was something in uh, the initial draft recommendations uh, and I'm just going to read the highlighted portion, but Enhanced Blackburn, it, it, it's very specific, which is what I like about it. Enhanced Blackburn, Stone, Morgan, and the Town Pool, Center Pool, to be an integrated, passive, and active recreation facility near downtown Walpole. I just think Blackburn Hall, the downtown pool, which is going to be up for um, renovation and, and redesign in the near future, um, and this whole Springbrook Park, and the new playground, and it's just a great area that, and I love this recommendation because it, we're already heading in that direction. Yeah, and I don't know why it just appeared, by the way. That was yeah. the question I had, too. I, I love it. So and so I want to bring it back. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, well, it was in the initial. It was in the initial one. Um, for transportation? It, it should oh, be it in transportation under, anyway. Under, um, okay. It wasn't in transportation. It was under open facilities. Open space and recreation. Facilities. Facilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open spaces and, rec and it recreation. It was in facilities, but it, but it just appeared from facilities, too. Yeah, so I, I mean, bring it back. So why don't we, why don't we wait to go to facilities, because that, that's where it was. Okay. But, but it, dis, it did disappear. Okay. Um, um, 
So, uh, Pat, can you make if I'm can you make that note? Um, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm focused on transportation. I wasn't. Yeah. Sure oh, you want to bring it up again later? Uh, why don't we do it under under facilities? So. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll we'll remember it. Don't you think? What? Does it fit more um, I have accurately to look, under was open it, space and recreation? Which one was it under? Well, it's Goal two. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, are we talking about the old? open space? Uh, on the recommendation. Yeah. It was under open space. Yeah. In rec oh. Maybe. You're talking about this document that we're talking about today? No, the, the, oh, the, the old. Yeah, that was, yeah. Under goal two, open space and recreation. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. But certainly there's impacts to, you know, the different elements to it. Yeah. Yeah, I was in 2.3 under under uh, open space. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. So, um, so develop a pilot study to manage and reduce traffic in trucks through downtown. But that's a, I think that's a good one. But again, so we're just unless somebody has other comments, we're just going to mean, these develop a pilot study and implement yeah. it. I guess I would throw Re that in there. Repurpose some. On street, off street parking for seasonal outdoor dining. Um, so, now my only comments on these, by the way, were I, I would it would be nice if we could um, actually t take some of the streets and make them be pedestrian plazas. And one in particular would be um, certainly Front Street in front of between the town hall and well, it's between the two commons. It would be the, the extension of Elm Street, but that would be a that would be a traffic study issue. Mm. But but a lot of towns. Oh, would make I mean, it, you, it sounds like a bold idea. I mean, yeah. so so if I was doing it. it, I would I would I would block off Elm Street between the two commons. Elm Street between the two there's commons. No, yeah. There's no there's no no one has there's no nothing that someone has to access by road by street, mm -hmm. and that would that would then make the two common areas adjacent. But you'd have to solve the the problem that when everybody comes up Elm Street. Um, they're going to have to take a left hand so turn down west. It's a bold turn. idea, and we're not yeah. trying to solve the problem. We're just no, trying we, to have we, the idea. Let someone have, else solve the problem. That, but that was one of my suggestions. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I know you sound like you were going to move on from it. I would not. I would. No, no, I, I, would I, 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 will, I will write it up. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm with you. No. Yeah. No. yeah. Um, does this. That, that would be great. So that's, that's something that when um, there was grants going out, we tried to do a pilot program, and it was closed down over the weekends. Um, and we talked about a more permanent closure, but uh, everyone wanted to study it, right? So I think that would be great. And I'll go one more step further. My other suggestion was to make um, Main Street from, um, from um, uh, it would be from the bank the, mm -hmm. down to one, uh, 27. Bank, Bank of America? Make it, uh, from Bank of America, Walpole Cooperative. Down to TD. Down, make that a pedestrian walkway. To um, put it in there, man. That's a big, it's, it's, it's a bold, I love a big it. Goal. But I always say that because if we want to make Walpole be, uh, you know, the downtown area, be more, <coughs> more friendly, out. pedestrian friendly, we have you more people living there. Um, yeah. We're not yeah. saying do it, we're saying no. think outside the box. Yeah, yeah but you it's can't, it's so I can tell you, you can't mess with 1A. We'll keep moving on because that, that's. Yeah, that's no, I, I can tell you that from experience, you're not allowed to. And I can also tell you from meeting recently with the police and fire department because of the 300th. Mm -hmm. Celebration, you can't do that. No, I know, and, and yeah. we all know you can't do that. But, but yeah. why? What, why I'm getting excited? Because Bill is having like these really bold ideas, like do something, not crazy, but do something bold. I'm just going to use that word again. Uh, in downtown, he's talking about closing Front Street. We did a, a test pilot on it, and yeah. then he mentioned closing Main Street. I, yeah. Maybe that's going too far. Uh, that, that, but like, going too but far. the point is, do yeah. something bold and and, and and not do it, but explore it, investigate it. Explore Hire, it, yeah. great, but I think we have to be careful what we put in the No, yeah, we're not saying to yeah. close down Main Street. We're saying look into bold ideas for downtown Walpole to make it more pedestrian friendly. Am I putting words in your mouth? Or? Yeah, no, no you're that's, not. And, and it could be one way, but that would, that would be the other option. Well, but, but I don't want to solve How, it. However they do it, but it's, it's yeah. to make I, it's not going to violate state law to do it. I mean, yeah, I, I would I, make I it one it. way, yeah. so that, and that, but that's a, that way you still have traffic. But anyways, to make the town center town more production right. I'll That's write a, it up yeah. and we'll we'll let it go forward. Okay. I'll probably write it up as a one way option so you're not closing the whole street out. Well, well it's a one way option where So so if I was doing Main Street from from the Co Wapa Cooperative yeah. down to twenty seven instead of closing it off entirely, I might Well you already know you're gonna get pushback on that. Yeah. So well, I would we make keep it, it very one. general though. That's I think say, it needs like, to be broad in general and yeah. someone needs yeah. to look at yeah. it and yeah. figure I, I out how to address the circulation. 
it's I don't think it's something that should be prescriptive in the, the master Agreed. plan, yeah. but we should encourage so, people to study it. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to get carried away, so but <laughs> but I will write it up as, a, as something to, to I think it's great pursue. Yeah. Um, so we're up to eleven. So I oh. number ten. Does yep. it belong in transportation or is it is it economic development? So is it in transportation because it impacts parking spots? Number again? I think number it, number ten. It goes in both, really. I think it's, that's why. It, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know, like, if we needed it just to be taken out and moved to economic development, or if it's a, the parking makes it a transportation issue. Mm. Well, I think because we don't have the economic development section right now, maybe I could I'll put a note to it and see. Once yeah. we see that section, maybe it fits better there. So to move it, yeah. Yeah. Number eleven: Develop wayfinding signage plan. What is that? I don't know, actually. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, way, wayfinding, when we, we do it for the trails, and the trails committee, we, we just, we're doing a wayfinding uh, plan right now just for the trails. It just makes it easier for people to find the way around. It could be anything. Okay, Pat, Pat's going to gonna say, this, this will be the now fourth plan in the past, like, eight years that has mentioned wayfinding as an opportunity. Um, so wayfinding is a way of, obviously, trans, um, creating an orientation and a sense of place within certain area so like in a downtown not only is this directional towards parking places but it's also places of interest um wayfinding also kind of translates well for like branding so you'll see it like a great example go to patriots place we're up the road you're driving around um the the inner driveway there's the directional signs as well as um identification markers of hey trader joe's is this way perfect Three shops that way okay so towns have Gone that route for like downtowns in particular. Yeah. To, you know, Thank so you. It's, so it's a good thing. Cheap and easy. Yeah. Yes. Number twelve: Develop a policy requiring new residential developments in the downtown area to develop and implement a transportation demand management plan. That, that sounds like a good thing. Good. Uh, formalize the Bay Circuit Trail through branded signage as part of Integrated Passive and Active Recreation. I think that would kind be already ongoing and yeah. I mean, starts. Continue. Continue. Uh, uh, it, yeah. it's Continue to highlight the Bay Circuit Trail, and particularly on the downtown in downtown Walpole. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah, to find your way. Just, uh, I mean, so that <laughs> was money design. that um, not to look back up on that one, from, but that, that yeah, we got uh, from, from Stonefield to Johnson. There's no connecting dots of the Bay Circuit Trail. I mean, there's little no, uh, white glazes on telephone I'm, poles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just not enough. <laughs> no, I'm with Most people yeah. won't find them. <laughs> I have a sign that's Way currently waiting we, yeah, we to be installed. Yeah. But, that, but that's a good one. Yeah. I like it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep going because we. Uh, policy 7C improve safety for all modes and maintain ro uh, roadways. We got 14. Continue to maintain roadways, intersections, and sad sidewalks through chapter. 90 funding and seek to increase funding through additional state and federal grant programs. That seemed to be the addition was inc to seek um, increased funding. Um, so so we'd, we'd move, we'd take that out based on our comments earlier and put it in the resources section only, right? Um, also, we have been um, in recent years adding local funding to um, to pay for more roads and to get ahead. So chapter 90 doesn't always cover it, so we've been funding it locally too, we're adding money to it. So whether we wanna write that we that that's a policy or that, that should be a policy, I don't know. I mean, but it's something we've done. I think we should add that to, if we're doing it. It's, a, it's, it's we an option. Want, we wanna promote it. It's always, an, yeah, we should yeah, promote it. If that's a, yeah. but again, as resources allow. So you were thinking though, Mike, this was, should not be here? You were thinking? I, I thought we talked, I thought we decided as a, as a group that we wouldn't yeah. Talk talk about in the action about um, getting funding or how we're going to get funding. We put that in the resources yeah, we needed did. section. Yeah, if Pat, I mean that feedback will get back to Judy, this right? One, yeah, and this one also it's kind of funny because the resources needed also says chapter nine ninety and other state federal grants and the action yeah. is continue to maintain sections and seek funding through chapter nine. Yeah. It's kind of yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so I think what you should, that should do is take out the funding part and put that over under resource. That's right. Yeah, they but already keep, have it there too. The, so but maybe keep the the. the you know, yeah. the goal of, Correct. Of, of, that's what you meant. That's oh, what I'm yes. okay. sorry, three, that was yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I may, misinterpreted. Okay, yeah, it, I think. And that project, number 15 actually makes the point that I just did, yeah. which is that we do it with local funding. So number 15 is increase the pavement management program funding. Yeah, and that's the local? And that's local. Okay. Yeah. And then 60, 
16 developer traffic common policy and guidelines that can be used to implement traffic common devices so that's that's a good one um, so that goes to, um, okay I don't actually know what that is that is. different than the Is that different than I guess, is that different than number nine? That's kind of what I was thinking. I guess it should at least be next to it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, so it's different than nine in the terms of that it's it's more generalized, common, you know, a, a, a traffic calming. Yeah, it's fine. Devices. Um, yeah, so so why? I think why they got in different place, you know. I think with the comment is to pull them together and make it more yeah. so F meaningful. So nine is like focus on the downtown and common, or sixteen is more general town wide. So I mean, they're tomato tomato. Yeah. Yeah. So again, that might be something they should look at that. And then um, number seventeen, make safety improvements at high crash and congested intersections, including the high school route one A in Norfolk Street. What I noticed there is that the, the number one, the number one intersections actually were were Coney Street and Route One, and uh, Twenty Seven and Route One. When you look at the statistics, we're, that, we're more. That's what I was going to ask: is why is it limited to those, and where did yeah. they come up with those? And can yeah, we so talk to like the DPW director and ask him? Like, in, like in, in the I would say in the report police. they have oh, the police. That's, yeah. the poly, in, well, that's that's being done right in, now. The in poly, their, yeah. you know, in the in the the fact finding they did. Yeah. Yeah. They have there the those numbers are in that the report for the accident. Can you guys be so specific? Can we just say at high crash and congested intersections? Yes. Stop. I think that would Stop. be better. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah. what they should also, do. Also, when is not in the yeah. section. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, yeah. I think school really like, yeah. And then they change over time oh, too. Okay. Like, oh, okay. So. I had to read it yeah. <laughs> but if you look in the report, they have they have all the intersections on the number, I, and I checked them from this this rep, uh, the, the the numbers they have now to what was in the last. Um, master plan, and they're almost the same. You know, the one at uh, Com Coney Street in Route One, and, and Route One and Twenty Seven are the two highest in Walpole. After that, some of the ones you know, uh, you know, Short Street and Washington Street. That's another one. Yeah. But I mean, we should just take all. So the we're going to take the take them all the streets out. Streets yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think we have to do a vote on this. I think what we can just say is that we have a lot of comments that we're going to send back to. Um, to Judy, I think though, from our comments, that we, I think we're, you know, we, we kind of have a good sense where the committee stands. So when we go and vote on that, I think that'll make that process go you know, fairly, fairly smoothly. Um, so now we go to number eight, facilities. <clears throat> and I just want to get a sense of the committee. Are, are people good voting on these, or do people are people more tending towards let's just send them back to Judy, or just give comments to Judy? I just want to take a you know sense of the committee. So I'm probably just sending back the comments. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. Seems a little rough. And just we'll just have a discussion. Yeah. Yeah. It's and just an send edit, edit, and, and we we'll just we we'll just send comments back to her. Are we are we good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, 8A manage town assets and preventively, pla uh, yeah, preventatively uh, plan maintenance to existing facilities. Sorry. He's just getting, He's getting a copy. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, did anybody want to take a, a quick break before we no, we'll keep going? Okay. I didn't um, have which one. Delta Townwide <laughs> Asset <laughs> Inventory <laughs> Institute a Plan Preventive Maintenance They're Program. Wrong. To be updated on the regular schedule and with upgrades or improvements, when upgrades or improvements occur for all sidewalks, storm water, and all the things that you know, that is So, um, uh, this seems this like a good thing. I, I assume we're not already doing that. I know that was some of the comments that came up when we discussed this the last time. Um, but I would defer to uh, Glenn or um, I don't know Pat if you know. Yeah, we're. Um, I think when you and I talked, we, we do need a preventive. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we have do. That. We, we don't have it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that was so that that's good. Uh, continue to implement the water, sewer, sidewalk, and storm water. Yeah. Yep. You know, following the uh, the the IWI the assessment. 
the client resilience plan. So that's so they come in about the, oh, uh, the sewer and water there on uh, John. Yep. Page nineteen. Uh, um, I think the statement there, Walpole has uh, <clears throat> interconnections with Norfolk, Sharon, Medfield, and Dover to supply water. Should an emergency occur? Um, that might be misleading in the sense that uh, if we have a shortage of water uh, or any kind of contamination or failure of a well, those are, are like residential connections. Those, those aren't going to do anything to solve the problem. That's kind of a false um, uh, security by saying that. Uh, we have a major program to, and Judy didn't pick up on it just several times, to explore and develop uh, additional water resources as uh, an absolute necessity uh, that includes examining our existing uh, well areas as well as Mayor uh, 4, which is an undeveloped well, and also exploring the MWA uh, supplemental membership, uh, which has become very attractive because they've just passed a short term regulation to allow members to join without paying an admission uh, fee. So, John, I just gonna, so, I, I, so I, I think the statement or there should be somehow watered I, down because those are just. So, so both uh, under there's no possibility of two, they're both being they're bailed both, out of um, recommendations that we voted on or approved or last or meeting. So, I don't know that they require any additional connections. Those are primarily just residential so, so John, uh, I, I, service uh, opportunities that. We've provided to others. Are other people understanding him? Some of it, yeah. I'm not getting, unfortunately. Yeah. Right. I have to apologize, John. I'm, could someone summarize what he? No. No, I didn't hear it. Okay. Um, John, do you have one specific thing you'd like to recommend? That, and again, I apologize. I, I have, I, I've been having trouble hearing it. Yes, yeah. I'd like to recommend that either uh, the, the 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 sentence there is, is misleading. You should probably take it out. Those are not viable connections to solve any kind of water shortage, emergency, or threat of well failure. Those are just residential connections that might help a resident out, but they're they're nothing to do with the the need for a more comprehensive. Uh, yeah, number a two. Redundant, sure uh, water yes. supply uh, yeah, so the program. I'm gonna, John, I'm going to interrupt you. I, we're, we're having such trouble understanding you. I think, by the way, I just want to, I don't know if we can help you. Uh, um, our next meeting will also be hybrid, but if, if it's at all possible to come in, that may make it a lot easier, or maybe we can help you get, get a better sound, because it really makes it very challenging. And we don't want to let, you know, I don't want you to not get your, your say. So I think that, what would be helpful would be if you want to write that up, because we're not voting on anything. So you should write up what you'd want to change or if you want to add something and send it to Pat. And that way we can add it in the comments that are going to, um, to Judy. Okay. Because that, uh, I, and again, I want to apologize. I, I, I don't do well when I, yeah, so I'm hearing sometimes. Um, and then, you want to have a comment? Uh, no, I, I, mean, I just don't know why it says continue to implement the water, sewer, sidewalk, and stormwater infrastructure. That's the wrong word. Wrong word? Okay. I, I, any other word would be fine, but just continue to um, maintain, I guess. In the, ori in the original recommendation was update. Update. Continue to update. Yes. Um, what are you implementing? So update. Uh, yeah, update's fine. So, so we're up, I, I guess we're implementing the recommendations. Fine, but it's not how it's worded. It's just very clumsy. Um, so we yeah, were, follow, we, we so were, sure, instead of saying following recommendations, it should say implement the recommendations. Or the, or the what is it saying? Continue to do what to the water, sewer, sidewalk, and stormwater infrastructure? Yeah, I, I think what it means is, is, is the, to implement the recommendations in those so assessment. Continue to follow the recommendations in, the, in those plans by, um, or, or when it comes to the water, sewer, sidewalk, and stormwater infrastructure. I mean, it's just, it's 
it's wooded. So, so, yeah. so we should so we should note that to, to yeah. To do yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah. But it's not, it's a good thing to do. It's just a matter of, of training. Well, I want the actions to be clear. <laughs> clear. Yeah. Abso yep, no. Absolutely. Yep. Um, number three, develop a strategic program for historical building utilization and revitalization that includes Blackburn Hall and the Old Town Hall. Um, and then note that the Johnson, Little Johnson School is in the next, the next one. Um, I don't know if, Jen, if you have anything you want to say in that. Is that comprehensive enough, those two buildings? And it also says, yeah, are there other buildings that well, maybe should be? There's under historical. There's a lot under historical. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, but then maybe, like we said before, it should be, <clears throat> We shouldn't be calling out certain, just only two, right? Because there's other there's things. Others. Other yeah. buildings we might want to. Yeah, so, so we need to definitely say it's. It doesn't really have a lot of teeth either, really. Yeah, well, this lines up almost exactly with, with the recommendation that we approved last time, except it excludes the Walpole train station. And I don't, we, right. we, approved, we approved that. But right. I, yeah, I think. But so we don't. This one did have a conversation with Judy, and we don't control the train station that's MBTA, so oh. that's why I was. Yeah. Yeah. But it should, be, it should be more generalized, not just those two buildings. What it's saying the is the middle school is, when it's actually middle school is the next. So there's the T that in the, is in the well, word utilization. I mean, right? it's, so, yeah. Yeah. It, can, it can be specific to those two buildings if that's what we want it to be. Yeah. We're not u using Old Town Hall at all right now. So, right. so maybe come up with a point. Yeah, for, for emergency management, for health services, for some vaccines. Yeah, so you can't say we're not using it at all. Okay, we're not right. using it well, perhaps. Right. I mean, it's no, underutilized. Was, it's underutilized. <laughs> so, the, what, so that's where those teeth is. Um, and the feedback from the community targeted, though, well, we should consider all historical stuff, but they targeted those buildings specifically. Like, they want something done with them. Yeah, and we've had, well, several, two studies are, not, you know, for the old There's an ongoing hall. study. Are we talking yeah. about old town hall? There's an ongoing yeah, study still, right now. You know, it's been a hard problem to solve, mm -hmm. but it needs to be solved. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one thing we could say is that it's just, that includes <laughs> at least Blackburn Hall and the old town hall, right? So at least the possibility for everything yeah. in the future. That's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 Think so that's it's like a, a strategic program, historical building utilization and revitalization that includes at least Blackburn Hall and the old town hall. I think that's a good suggestion, too. And then one right. general question is, like, so I thought from the whole like old town hall reuse committee that we were starting to call it the old town house. What's the official term? Are we going with old town hall or old town house? <laughs> Never heard of well, old town house. Yeah, yeah, I have old town, old town house. I, I saw the little sign it outside that like, says old town house. So yeah, so well, let me so actually let's see. Yeah, we just put a sign up. Let me see what Betsy wrote. So yeah, I think it says old town house. Is that is that what they call it? I think so. Yeah. I so I say you're the expert, Jen. Let's do old town house. Yeah. Okay. And you'll write that up, Jen. Then. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're we're making notes. You know, oh, is it yeah. just the, the change? At, at the very at least, least. At least. Yeah. At least. Yeah. yeah, so at least. Just, yeah. And so we, we yeah on the sign that we just put out there we do call it the townhouse. Yeah. Okay. That's what it was originally known as. So I think they wanted to go back to calling it the old townhouse. I'll I just. Do, I'll do better when I. When I, I well. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's a fit. I don't know if anything's official. I just want to be consistent. But. <laughs> it's all too formal. No. <laughs> <laughs> And then number four is conduct a facility evaluation and condition assessment of the former Johnson Middle School to determine the most effective approach for future use. And of course, it's not it's not isn't yet the former Johnson isn't School. That, no, so I would change yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. um, but Glenn, isn't that stud isn't that already in the works? Uh, we agreed to do a study. I'm not sure if we've hired a firm, but we'll do, yeah. we, we will do that. We're doing it. So uh, well, we will do it. I don't think we need to mention things that are already being done. That's mm -hmm. why I asked about the Elm Street light. So like if it's already, and you said it isn't, you said there was a traffic study, that was it. Right. But like in this case, I've heard that there have been lots of, there's lots of people with ideas on that and yeah. 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 it's active, it's, yeah. it's so not dormant. We need to talk about Johnson Middle School in one way or another in, in this plan though, right? Like whether we conduct a facility evaluation that's gonna happen, it's already happening. Um, but. What should we do about Johnson Middle School? I guess that's the question that I have that the master plan should should probably address, right? But don't well, you think that's already in the works is what I'm trying to say? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I have a Do you know what idea. I mean? Maybe. Glenn, tell me if this dovetails with what you're saying. Because I was going to propose adding under 8C where it says planning for future needs and growth. Um, to me, if you're going to talk about future needs and growth, you have to talk about school facilities and making sure that there's adequate space and you know tied into the Johnson conversation is that like the school department has space needs 
at the, at the younger grade levels, at the elementary and preschool levels that aren't obviously being addressed by the ongoing middle school and high school projects. So I was going to suggest an additional um, piece about you know, assessing space needs and planning for future space needs and maybe we can reference, you know, existing infrastructure or, you know, the conversation about available properties. Not to, not to tie Johnson yeah. to that specific use because I'm not suggesting that right now at all, but maybe that's a way to kind of put it together. I don't know what you think about that. Yeah, no, and I was yeah. surprised they didn't mention like the high school, the schools at all. Because right. been if this is like a five, 10, 20 year plan. Right. You know, we, we should be mentioning something. Well, I mean, to Katie's point, should, if, you know, if the middle school project is obviously off and running and the right. high school study, you know, we're, we're looking at design concepts now. So that's, it's happening. Um, right. It's, it's not something we have to start. But, but maybe you but. should just mention that it's going on or yeah. something. I just think it's, it's such a critical point of like, yeah. you know, yeah. of uh, future yeah. needs and growth. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with and that. And we're already, yeah. you know, we're already experiencing some space concerns, yeah. so. so. I just don't want our plan to be outdated when it comes out. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm yes. trying to say? So, yeah, and, and for this particular item, maybe we just the the, the evaluation point is not it, it's probably not valid here because we're already doing the evaluation. We need the, the tangible results of that evaluation documented in the master plan. Yeah. To actually actually execute the a plan or just yeah, so, like, so Katie, your, your point is, is taken that, that that's already happening. So, yeah. um, so that's so we need to distinguish between what things are happening, but also make sure that. There's some sense, I think, in the plan that things really do happen at the end. Because certainly there have been a lot of studies done and then nothing happens. So it would be nice to know that we're putting our, our recommendation or our... So I could see that being a threat with the town house. Is that what I'm calling it? <laughs> the, old the old town house. Because look at how long that has gone on. But with Johnson, I feel it... And again, I'm on the outside looking in, so you guys feel free to, especially Glenn, because you sit at the select board meetings, but I feel like there is action going to happen there. There are a lot of viable plans and people who want to do things with it. So, so keep it vague. So I do, I'm reading number four, and it does seem like all this stuff's happening. We're gonna consider the pros and cons of tearing down the building versus not tearing it down. So why right. are we saying it? Because we're, we're gonna do it, we're already doing it. So number four does seem, unnecessary but to Carrie's point perhaps we should, we should put in its place something along the lines of and I don't want to put words in your mouth but assessing space needs and plan for future space needs comma um, you know, including Johnson the soon to be former Johnson Middle School um, you know and we, and we could reference how many square feet I think it's you know, 45,000 square feet whatever the number is it's this big amount of square feet um, you know plan for how that might be used that that's what I'm saying would be very vague because to Katie to your point these conversations are going to be ongoing so we can't really say put put a put a preschool in there or put a you know uh, some people want to do uh, senior housing all these conversations are going to happen so for us to mention it here it'll be outdated before this thing even hits the printer we just want to maybe acknowledge that that we need the town needs to decide what to do with it I did a poor job summarizing can, can we generalize it to yeah. to town owned buildings that become Taken? Disused or, or yeah, decommissioned, obsolete. including, yeah. uh, you know, the former John, soon to be former Johnson. So it's not just about, because I would think like, what happens if, you know, five years down the road, this building, like we move all of our town offices someplace else, like we would want to do the same thing here. Like what's the benefit of improving it in against tearing it down and, you know, sensible alternative use for this. Pro I don't, I'm just trying to think of like a generalized way to do it. So it's not just about Johnson. It's like also deals with like future situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Johnson. Yeah. So, so, so next number four Johnson. and put it in its place. Um, so we'll come up with a new language like. Yeah, yeah but I general. think it would go under it should be. I oh, don't okay. think it would go. I, I agree. The plan for oh, future needs. Then call out schools specifically, the, yeah. the needs of the schools. Yeah, so do you want me to work on Yeah. And are there specific needs that the school that we should recognize I mean, for the schools? Right, right now, it's preschool and elementary school space constraints. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should. So yeah. we should. So I can, that, that, yeah, I yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. thing to worry about there, I agree with you, hundred percent. But the thing to worry about is if this is a 10, 15 year outlook, mm -hmm. it may be that that's something we hopefully deal with within the next five. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
and in year six we might have a different constraint. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know I, what I mean? I so that. somehow word it so that it's a rolling goal. It has to be a continual evaluation. I, right? I understand yeah. the master master plans are supposed to be like twenty years, but they don't. It, it's impossible. So the, you know. So after five years, you're already getting into a gray area, and, and ten. So, so there's going to be a lot of things just like in the other master plan that never happened because the world changes. So we, it doesn't have to be things that... But if we word some of them so that they're fluid and they, they can adjust to the situation at hand but still encompass what's happening, that might be... And, and that's what the implementation committee will do. So, for example, I believe on the, the last master plan had uh, specified the campus the, the town campus where the, the, the football field is now behind the, the, the current town hall. And that was gonna be a campus with all the buildings around a, a small green. And then, and then I think because of the issues with the floodplain, it was determined that that wasn't really a buildable place. So, that's, so the, the implementation committee then moved you know, the, the, new town, the, uh, the new senior center, police station, and fire station away from that, where it was gonna be at that campus right behind the town hall to you know, the different sites where they got moved to. So that was a change, again, because of practical, uh, you know, reasons, you know, because it was just not feasible to but do that. But the plan went to the length to say, this is our recommendation. We recommend we that the town. government campus is here at yeah. Stonefield. That's a very specific yeah. recommendation. And, and it recommended what buildings need to be built. Whether or not it happened, it didn't happen because it wasn't feasible, but, but they made a very specific recommendation. But so, the implementation committee then turned that around. That's okay, and, but, yeah. but, but we're, we're the people who are saying, let's build the government center around Stonefield. Right. And today, we're not gonna do that, but you know, may, maybe we say, let's use Johnson Middle School to solve the um, the, the bursting at the seams elementary and, 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 and preschools. Well, I don't know. Is that too specific? I, I think so. I yeah. think, I don't think we're there yet. And I think, as Katie mentioned, there's a lot of, and you mentioned too, there's a lot of ideas around that. And we don't, yeah. Yeah. you know, because the study hasn't been done, we don't even know if it's feasible for any given yeah. need that is in the yeah. community. So I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would go that far. I probably yeah. wouldn't either, but I wanted to mention that, that that's what they did the right. first time. Sure. Yeah. That was yeah. a, but, and, I, and I'm just saying in the spirit that the, our plan you know, after you got out a few years, it's going to change, and that's where there'd be an yeah. implementation committee that would take that on. Yeah. So, so we may recommend, and I'm not suggesting recommending about the Jackson School, but just, mm -hmm. just in generically, mm -hmm. you know, we need to, you know, we, we're going to recognize that. Mm -hmm. But by having it in the plan, at least it's an issue that's before the town, and, and whether it be the implementation committee or the select board, you know, the town boards are working on those things, and, and things will evolve. So that's, it's important to have that. In the, in the, yeah, so, the, do we generally agree that number four goes, and then it, and then oh, yeah, Carrie yeah, will have a yeah, an and alternative? And we, we add it to eight yeah, C. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, maintain sound physical management, capital planning policies, maintain consistent budgeting policies. I wasn't sure about this one. You know that. Do we not do that now? I guess <laughs> uh, that'd be my question. <laughs> All right. We well, continue to right. maintain. <laughs> yeah. But we, yeah, I think, I think we, we already do that. Do, I mean, I, you know, it, it felt like, uh, you know, hopefully we're doing that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it hurts anything. But yeah, yeah. Um, should just come out. So maybe, maybe again, Judy might get, get more insight. Why she put it there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was that maybe input there, Caitlin? So we could. I, I think you just get rid of these section completely. Yeah. You're already doing it. And you're yeah. just doing it. <laughs> if we're not really doing that, we're in big trouble. Uh, no, no AP. Yeah. So. We're killing the sections left and right. Do you think that was like a nod to people who feel that our, uh, you know, the forget spenders? That's, that's a different, that's a different thing. So we're up to, uh. I just want to also oh. acknowledge that Ashley had to leave. She had oh. a meeting at 8, so. Okay. So we will. Do we still have a plan? Yes. Are people still good going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're on uh, um, number six, work with applicable parties and the green community's grant to address energy efficiency gaps in local facilities and public schools to meet the town's energy reduction plan goals, particularly concerning future plans for the Walpole High School. Um, so a lot of this actually is for climate change, actually. Um, yeah. um, for the green, green communities, I, I would tend to think that first um, being climate change. But um, I, 
I think yeah. I think so. it gets moved. Yeah, and I would yeah. also say again, why are we just limiting it to Walpole High School? I'm sure right, we yeah. have it's other sure. town wide owned buildings that are yeah. um, not as energy efficient as they could be. Well, the new Johnson Middle School. And, and that's what the Green Communities you know grant is for. So we have our energy coordinator who's you know working on you know finding those projects. Hopefully, um, number seven. Reestablish and so so we, we recommend moving it to create, to climate change, right? Is that what we said? Yeah, and then remove yeah. remove the specific the, that, yep, yeah. the, the the high school. The number seven, uh, reestablish and fund the position of town planner or planning director. And I wasn't sure why this one was here. I thought that was more land use, maybe under housing or something. I'm not sure, but but I think it's a good thing to do. I think it's because um, it's services. Services. Um, and because the land use section got merged with everything. Yeah. So the only question I had on this one was the last part of it, which I don't know the answer to. So I'm just questioning it. I'm not saying that <laughs> I'm confident about it. So where it says, well, providing for day-to-day -day reporting to the town administrator, if, if, it's, if the person is working as a planner for the, I would think it would be for the planning board. Um, and I would think it would be good to have oversight by the town administrator because the planning board is not present day to day at town hall but by the same token somehow I don't know the wording there just made me scratch my head a little that it should be clarified that the services being provided were f to support the planning board I didn't have so much a problem with the reporting as I did with it should be clarified, I think. Just what? I agree. This was formerly in land use. It, it just seemed to contradict itself a little to me where it said, with the primary purpose to support the plan review and long range planning work of the planning board. I think that's a typo, by the way. I think it's support site plan review, yeah. not the plan review. And then while providing day to day. So I think it's trying to say that, but I just didn't think it was clear how it said it. So I think I just need it reworded somehow so it's clearer. I have no problem with the action. I just, I just want clarification on the word. So, so maybe just rewording, and, and I think it's yeah. like, it's, but it also is planning, your know, overall planning, you know, the more strategic planning, not just site planning. In, in this document, it mm -hmm. references site plan review. Yeah, I actually yeah, it's just feel like it's typing honestly, but, I'm, but and, and I also feel that way because the plan review doesn't really make any sense. The what? Does the plan review make sense? Yeah. So I think what they're, the plan review, what I think what they're the saying is, it doesn't make sense. I'm not, I'm yeah. not, I think what they me. meant, meant, Glenn, is like when we get, you know, a project comes yeah. before us, we have someone to review the plan intricately and report to us on it. To support plan But it review. doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, that's what I mean. The whole thing's just not worded. I agree. Yeah. Let's have a, just so it should be redo that. plan review, but also it should be planning for the Site plan review and planning and long-range long planning, planning work. Planning. And yeah. 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 Whatever the, so the we need job to needs to be. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we're sending some. Just make it smoother and more wording. defined. Agreed. And then number eight is develop a comprehensive. Everybody, so everybody's good with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might just say reestablish and adequately, adequately fund the positions. I think we've had the problem in the past where it's been a non competitive salary, and that's why we lost people. So I just I don't know how to. Mm. I don't know. So say that again, Jen? Adequately fund the position okay, if we're going to have it because I think that's one of the problems in the past is that we were not offering a very high salary and we were losing people who were getting. We also, we also, your job, right, mm -hmm. was we used to have a, a planner and, and your job is a new job, a new position that was created, right? You were the, yeah. well, Ashley, yeah, I think, Ashley, was the first. Yeah, Ashley yeah. both started under a different title and a different that title. might be more of a yeah. different conversation. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. understood. Um, but your, your, your point is well taken too, uh, Jen. So. Um, okay. And then um, number eight, develop a comprehensive wastewater management plan. The water and sewer division should consider a comprehensive wastewater management plan as more residents request municipal connections. So, so we um, have we have one. We have we, one. We, we just did a, um, a master, and John would probably love to jump in on this too. Yeah. But we're talking about the sewer <laughs> master plan in 2019. We updated it after I think ten years or so, maybe yeah. longer. Is, is the plan still to have everyone on the sewer? Is, is there it are kind phases? Of back, there are phases. The, the book, the plan is this big. Right. There are fa and there's um, very detailed. There are the different phases, uh, and yeah, all that one field. She's a, she's a, 
off base on that. We that's still covered in space. We're not going to hire any more consultants for uh, super master plans. So, I'm a, so I think what John's saying is we've already done it. Um, so instead of develop it, we need to. But but to say implement it, if we implemented that plan, it would be like a hundred million dollars. I mean, it's right. it's not. Yeah. You can't. It's so expensive to connect. We have yeah. seventy percent of the town is sewer connected. To connect the other thirty percent is just cost prohibitive. Not to say that you can't implement a phase here and there when when so money grants. And, and I thought the best practice on water management was to put have more. Don't don't have everybody on sewer. That's also have, true. Yeah. You know, so so more water goes through a septic mm. system into our groundwater. That's also. So that's that's true. Yeah. You're right, Phil. And that's I, I told Patrick this a number of times and Judy. And I don't know why the, this is still in there, but this is totally wrong the way this is being I, I think we, presented. I, I think we well, gave comments last time. It's a, it's a case by John's case basis yeah. for economic development or and, or and I mean, environmental I mean, needs. There's domestic. no need to be sewering the entire town. It's dysfunctional. I don't in have the many respects. The dean time, was so here; he could tell you yeah. so why don't, some of them. But so John, uh, from we an economic we're, point of view, it's impractical, impossible and not needed you could, <laughs> so you could always consider extending the sewer when appropriate and yeah, when funding is available say, putting putting in those words where practical where you want to where suitable the, yeah. where so we can i think we can think and yeah, we can the master plan the sewer master plan yeah, yeah. And we, and that's all we should it's already been done yeah so i think we got to go back to the comments from last time yeah so that so we will consult it yeah i think um it's my understanding that the um sewer plan is available for anybody in Walpole, but you, we're not mandating that they have to. Oh, if we extended sewer? Um, it's my understanding from Patrick. Yeah, you're not mandated to connect, yeah. correct. And so this is already under control. It's already been done. Yeah, I mean, if we chose to extend sewer, um, there would be, a, people but would have the already, option. There's already a plan. There's, there's, a plan. Yeah. there's a master plan. You're not talking about the cost, well, though. Well, that's I the issue. The plan doesn't mean we're going to do it. So what I suggest is why don't we have yeah. John and, and maybe you, Glenn, write up what this should say. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't say it's, anything. It shouldn't say anything. We, we voted to take it out, I think. Well, but to Carrie's point, maybe we should reference the fact that there is an updated, we spent money on a consultant to develop a master plan. we just plan. need to follow it. We should, this is well, we should plan. consult it. I, exactly. Again, it would be cost prohibitive to right, just right, straight right, up follow right. it, but, but we consult, consult it, consult. and when appropriate. Okay, so yeah. why, don't we, why don't we do that? Okay. Consult is the that, 2019 you, master plan. I, I, it's fine. It's just, yeah. I just, and we'll look through on the minutes, too. I, I forget stages. exactly what we said at that when, meeting. When so when feasible, funding. Yeah, yeah, when feasible, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a yeah. bigger conversation, for sure. Okay. Um, so that's the end of... Oh, and I, I, I was wondering about the prison. Do we need to mention somewhere that we need to... Maybe that falls under buildings of looking at... You know, the, the, the prison is being, you know, is going to become mm. closed. Well, that so wasn't here. Did that not make it? It, it was not. I didn't see it in here. It's somewhere else. So, so, um, so it should be under here somewhere. Yeah, like definitely not at the so It's not going to yeah. be under municipal services. But, but I didn't. I didn't. Oh, so maybe it's coming. It wouldn't be under the section. Did, so maybe. Yeah. Did they receive all our meeting comments? Absolutely, they did. Yeah. So there's two, but we're 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 still. There's going to be three sections coming, right? Or no, two. I understand. Yeah. But like, for example, on the last one, that one yeah. we had talked about quite a bit. Yeah. And it's yeah. a situation of everybody's taken their time to come and spend a lot of time here. So it would be nice if we didn't have to like look back at our notes and if they were given given the notes, it should be tweaked accordingly. You know. Right. So I'm sorry. I, so, so under land use 4.3, again, this is the initial draft recommendation. There's a whole paragraph and a whole section on Cedar Junction Correctional Facility. So yeah, yeah. that so, needs to make its way into. So a, I just want to make sure. Got, yeah. So yeah. It, 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 we didn't. Repeated. The land use is being distributed across the other sections. So we we'll see where they put it. Okay. So maybe putting it under economic development is what you were thinking, Patrick, or something. Yeah. We don't so have we're, that so we're just we don't have all the sections yet. So so we just want to keep as. We want to make sure that we see it somewhere where yep. it belongs. Makes sense. So, so now we're up to nine. Um, um, historic and cultural resources, celebrate Walpole's history, protect, protect historic resources, and increase the presence of art and culture in town. So 9A, policy 9A, plan for, adapt, and implement an array of preservation tools aimed at protecting Walpole's historic structures and land landscapes. So number one, appropriate funds and engage 
a, perfe in a, per yeah, per a preservation planner to develop a 20-year town-wide strategic plan to help guide preservation decisions. And um, do you have any thoughts about that, Jen? I guess it's like, I think that this is like, a, like guide preservation decisions, but a lot of times we're talking about property that's privately owned. So how much can, like, we're gonna fund this, they're gonna come up with a plan, but how much can we really do when it's a private owner? Um, you know, we've seen that time and time again, right? That we try to talk to them, we try to incentivize them to incorporate the old buildings into their plans, and they just wait us out for our yeah. delay period. And, so and there are some things here to try to address that, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. But, I, but, I, so maybe we need to, I think we need to go back to Judy and ask what, what you know, how that would fit with what we're seeing. Right, yeah, or like yeah. that's a legitimate question. More specific, I don't know, something more specific. Yeah, like what? Yeah. What is this planner going to tell us that? Yeah. I, I that we know. don't already know, or, yeah. or right. I think I think we know a lot. We just don't yeah. have the resources, whether it's money, people power, people hours, things like that, yeah. to do a lot of these things. So. And that might be a different thing that we need is more. Yeah. Yeah, you, you might know. More teeth. Our planning board took open space planning out of the planning book as well. They weren't supportive of open space planning, so shouldn't be spending a lot of consulting time on that part. <clears throat> so, so we're so number two, expand the inventory of historic and cultural resources to include all buildings, landscape, monuments, and structures, 50 years or older. So, do we need to expand the inventory, Jen? Do we? I mean, right, yeah, right now, right, we we did it and we looked at things like our last one was 2008, I think, and we looked at things that were close to 100 years, but this would be a little bit more further. Yeah. Um, future thinking, you know, um, but again, not a lot. Not and and lot making regular updates to the Massachusetts Cultural Resource Information System. Yes, yeah, so we have some things on MACRIS. Um, we've gone through based off the last inventory. So that's just adding it. So when someone does a search, um, quite often when someone comes to us, the first thing I do and I tell them to look at MACRIS. And if they don't, I send them like Allen's Corner, different places that are on there. But um, I, I think this is, you know, I think this is something that could be done in a, you know, there's grant, I, I tried to apply for grants, I, I think this might be a less expensive thing that could be done and, and could be offset maybe with a matching grant or something like that. So I think so, that's- So maybe they should have done resources. Uh, yeah, and I just feel like other thing too is like, the, I mean this bleeds into the next one too, where it was like, um, develop a map of survey properties linked to the assessor's database. I'm like the assessor's database is just like so many things are just listed as 1900, right? If they don't know everything's 1900, mm. so it's like ah okay, so it's meaningless if they don't. And, and yeah. then it's also like because we're not here day to day, someone's saying like you know we're relying on what's in the assessor's database to be you know we're not part of the like um, the the stamping part because we're not here we couldn't we couldn't approve everything so like we're relying on people to to flag that it's more than 100 years old and then for the building inspector to recognize that and to pull, it, pull out our supplemental form, but I'm getting ahead of my, like, yeah. So do you want to, res I mean, unless somebody else wants to respond, but do you want to respond then to, to one, two, three, and four? Sure. Um, recognizing historic landscapes through state and national registry of historic. And I mean, we've done that for the things that we've, you know, the old townhouse is on the national register. Yeah. And that's and great, the train station, but just right. so everyone knows, like the National Register of Historic Places doesn't prevent something from being torn down. Right, mm. right, right. So, um, so, so maybe in the, yeah. some of the wording needs to be changed too, because yeah. we're doing oh, some right. of these things. So, yeah. Very quick question for Jen, probably. Um, so, fifty years is nineteen seventy-two. That seems like a lot of buildings and structures. Is that the number that you want? Fifty years? Well, eventually, no. But I mean, well, I don't know, because I, I, we want something that you know. If I don't say fifty years, if we say seventy-five and ten, it's like we're getting. We, we, but, but I'd have to look and see what covers what we've already done. But, yeah. um, seems a you lot. know. It's a lot, but it but it's going to be coming close to, you know, right now our what are we up to nineteen twenty two, right? Or our buildings for you know, everything that's older than nineteen twenty two should go through the historic review mm -hmm. process. So we're getting to the point where it's gonna start in maybe in fifteen years. So, you know, this isn't supposed to last fifteen years, but it's going to be um, more of the norm that these things are going to be so that's maybe in the future, you know, the historical um, demolition delay bylaw will have to be amended so it's not a hundred years, but Right now, it's like it's only triggered. The other thing too is it's only triggered by being 100 years old. It's not architecturally significant, so that wouldn't stop something. So we don't we don't really have that right now. But I was trying to say the example like if say right now we have a developer or, or somebody builds a house and then you know they turn out to be the next 
IMPE or Publicia or, you know, that would be our architecture mm -hmm. significant, right? But that doesn't trigger in if somebody wants to tear it down. So, so if you're good, Jen, if yeah. everybody else is good, I, I would, you know, ask if you could do that. Yeah. Um, and, and even number five, consider establishing local historic districts. Is that something you would recommend? I mean, I. So it's really hard. You need two thirds of a uh, town meeting to yeah. establish a local historic district. But that and would protect. Would that protect buildings? Protect. So it's much more stringent. You could you could do things like, it. You could regulate what colors people could use, whether they can tear things down. Yeah. Um, so like up in Medfield, the state hospital property, that's a local historic. So the, a historical district can be a neighborhood, it can be a house, it can be an area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, I can, you know, we looked into this yeah. thinking about areas like Peach Street and Plimpton Street, but then we realized we can't get two thirds of town meeting to agree that the sky is blue. So it'd be really hard to get <laughs> right. them to agree on local historic districts. So, so, so again, I really, if you don't, uh, yeah. unless other people have strong opinions on that, I mean, I think those sound like good things to do, but, but, uh, um, Considering, yeah. considering isn't. Yeah, yeah. considering it. Yeah, I mean, I think that. that might I mean, be they have it in there. It's difficult, right? They know it's yeah. going to be yes. difficult. So. And where where it would be, you know, we have to decide where it is. I, I think when you go through, uh, um, not Medway, but on one hundred and nine, there's a sign there for a historic district. Medfield. Med, yeah. 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 Um, number six: Explore historic landmarks by law to protect the town's most significant buildings and landscapes. Again, that's another one of those. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. It says, I, it says difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then explore adoption of the scenic roads bylaw to protect the town's historic and scenic routes. So that would be adding more more streets to our Right, we do roads. have some they scenic roads have, already. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. What, is what does that do? Oh, I guess it's a bylaw, so we could, I mean, is it? Well, then, then you can't, you know, they can't, you know, touch. Well, you know, they can't widen it, you can't touch tree, trees and walls, stone walls that are on the public way. So they already you know. have that though, right? Yeah. On, yeah. on some streets. Yeah. Yeah. streets. I, I'm assuming they, they need to um, expand it. Yeah, expand, expand, expand it. Expand yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we need to but make like, that so clear. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with the private property along the route. It has no, to do with like, just the, the, the route itself. It's like trees within, a, like a rock wall, trees yeah. within a certain yeah. amount. Okay. Um, but it's really kind of small because I know, again, yeah. they were cutting at a different house so, on Peach Street, and we tried to get them to stop, and it was like, no, no, it's like, you think it's like within 10 feet, it's like within. And sometimes a stone wall just brushes the onto the town land and goes away, and mm -hmm. um, so it can really, can really yeah. vary, but it really depends on the, you know, the, 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 the actual width of the roadway as opposed to the, 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 the mm -hmm. paved road. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm kind of trying to think of some more. I think we need some more so, like but, realistically so maybe, actionable, actionable things. Yeah. So and, and like you know, it doesn't it doesn't even acknowledge the fact that we, are, we do have already by yeah seen exactly roads bylaws. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, the planning board is the uh, um, the, the commission that votes on scenic, mm -hmm. scenic bylaws. We scenic. we have a case where somebody wanted to cut down a tree yeah. that was on the on, on the, the scenic bylaw area. Yeah. So um, and we didn't let them by the way. Yeah. Either, yeah for, Good reasons. Um, encourage preservation easements on historically significant buildings. So is that something that could be done by without the owner doing it? The owner would have to do it, right? Right. The owner has to agree. Yeah. So or again, difficult. Right, so so it's effectively a taking if you don't. You know, yeah. Otherwise, so hmm. apply to become. I'm, I'm going fast on these because I feel yeah. good. Apply to become a certified local government to expand fundraising options. And it says easier. I have to look. I think it's. I think it might. It might be not so easy. So I'll take it's a look. Is it? The certified local government to expand funding. Like the requirements. I'll go. I have to go back. I haven't looked at them recently. Okay. But I'll go back and what, the, what they are. I think it might be a little bit more onerous than. Than, than easier. easier seems okay. To suggest. Yeah. And then adapt the Community Preservation Act (CPA) as a way of financing historic preservation efforts. So I think that would be a good thing to do. But again, that's difficult. That's a town meeting yeah. vote. So. Um, but but I think it, you know I, I would say we should put these things in in the the master plan as a way to have it out there. Maybe change the wording to make it more feasible or more clear what what we're asking for. Yeah. Um, and and maybe make some of these. We're, we're going to do priorities, so maybe some of these are lower priorities at the end. I mean, on the CPA, I, I don't yeah. want to. Yeah. No, I, I don't want to step on people's toes, and I you know I know I'm obviously I'm an open space guy, and I love. Yeah. I love the concept of the CPA, but it's also kind of late to be jumping in and 
and we'd be one of the last communities uh, yeah. to be getting in, and, and, and we'd but, but better late than never, maybe? Uh, I mean, it's still a 1% tax, yeah. and I mean, it's, it's yeah. not cheap. Well, and that money can be used for other things. It can be used well. for affordable for housing, it can be used housing, for yeah. playgrounds, yeah. it can be used for lots yeah. of things, um, for Old Town so Hall. I th so I think, I think we should recommend it. Um, well, but it's a tax. It's a 1% tax. tax. But like you said, we're, we're, we're one of the, f most many towns have already done it. We're, we're actually... Yeah, um, we're late, which means a yeah. lot of the funding. But we don't, but we don't need to, we don't need to, I mean, I think it's bad whether we recommend it or not, whether, whether... So, it's, so I yeah. guess what I'm going to say is, um, like number five, consider establishing local historic districts. I would, unfortunately, I guess I'm suggesting we weaken this a little bit and say consider adopting the CPA and, 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 I, and you're probably going to disagree with me and that's fine. But, I, I, um, I probably, I will. <laughs> yeah, and, and I realize that. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying it anyways because yeah. that's, um, so I probably, my gut tells me the CPA is, is not a good fit for Walpole, yeah. even though I love all the things the CPA can do. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, we good, we bought Travis fit. Farm without the CPA, we did right. it anyways. So, I mean, you can still, oh, go ahead. Sorry. But not a good fit because you don't think it'll pass or not a good fit because you think it's a it, tax it's and, tax and we can accomplish some of the things without the CPA, yeah. um, which is still coming out of the tax base. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I don't think we're necessarily like li limited um, by not passing the CPA. But Clearly we've been able to accomplish a lot of things that the CPA would have otherwise done. These playgrounds that we got built could have been CPA funds, but instead we built it through capital spending. Yeah. Um, so. So I am just not as big a supporter of the CPA because it's an extra tax, and I think it would okay. be unpopular. So, so I think we're. Yeah, happy, I, we're, we're I agree with Glenn. I think that seniors look at this as an extra tax. They pay tax for 50 or 60 years in Walpole. They're going to leave. They sell their house, and they have to pay this tax for other people's projects in the future. So you get taxed, and it's really not assigned to the user group that's going to benefit from it. So it's uh, it's not an attractive thing to senior citizens. So I'm going to suggest <clears throat> weakening. I'm not saying take it away. I just yeah. So uh, so um, Glenn, why don't you write up the language? Sure. Um, and we, I think at the end of the day we have a vote. Yeah. Of if, and but some of us some of us might want to vote to keep that. Yeah. It isn't that a, you know that we'll just see. I think, know, think it as much. Yeah. I think that goes back to what I said at the beginning though with consistency and wording. Like number five says consider, but for some reason for number nine they put. You know, well, I mean number ten they put a. Uh, dot. One's weaker well, than the other. We need to be consistent but, but in I our wording. I think that by intent. Yeah. So consider means exactly that. They, but when they say adopt, they're saying really do it. Yeah, yeah so, but who were they to say that? Like, w that's well, what I'm saying. No, no, it'll be us to say it. Well, At the end of the day, me. we're going to vote. I think, I think Phil wants to adopt the CPA. Yeah, like but, 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 <laughs> but just, just be clear. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's our, this, these are our recommendations. They're just, they're just giving us their, right, their draft. Right, but we're supposed to so be it'll representing... Be us, we're supposed to be representing the community, not what we want. No, no, but they're, they're recommending. They're 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 giving us what they think, as a combination of what they heard as input, what they hear from us, and then also from their own professional assessment. And their you know we hire a consulting company because they've worked with a lot of towns and they know that, you know they have a lot of experience what works. But it, it, it's not them telling us what to do. It's they're just giving us something that we're going to vote on, and we can we can vote to do it to have consider, or we can have vote. Yeah. So, so Katie, I think a, a lot of these things are, uh, we're not disagreeing on. I think we we breeze through a lot of these action items. Yeah. I'm stopping here because I know that Phil wants the CPA, yeah. Yeah. and I know that I'm. I've yeah. stated but, I'm not much of a supporter of the CPA. Yeah. So there's a sticking point, and it might be a seven to. But I think six to consider vote. something is an action. I mean, you're considering well, I, I, I whether it fits with you at the time and what the town wants. But, but I mean, whether I it'll pass or not pass. And my, my my suggestion though is that we're we're gonna we're gonna probably have a vote on that. Yeah at the proper time because I think we're just going to so instead of writing vote. it up I know you yeah. said to write it up I'd, I'd rather or, not do that can I just say I, I only want to add the word consider I just want to say yeah. it now yeah, you just say there's that. nothing for me to write yeah, yeah. No, and, I want to weaken it yeah. no, uh, and that's fair. telling yeah. you how I feel and yeah. um, if it doesn't pass yeah. that's fine too yeah. yeah. unless you want to do a vote on that right now I mean it's a but, I, I'm looking at the time and thinking but if, Pat if, so can I you think consider is I that's the thing we can have as a note and some of this kind of goes back to what Katie said who you know I think Martha Lyons wrote this because this is the historic and preservation. Nothing against it could have just been yeah, a, right. wrote it down and she probably should have considered it. Yeah. yeah, but Phil wants it. I mean, but, there's but, a difference between strong and weak, yeah, and I'm saying weak and Phil's saying strong. Yeah. I mean, forget what the proposed yeah. language was. Again, We're saying yeah. Phil wants a yeah. CPA and I don't. Yeah. And so and there's, would, there's a disagreement. There's a disagreement. Yeah. yeah. And that would, that's why we're to the vote. But, but again, I do want to be also say that when they, what, what they say 
is their recommendation to us. We have the final vote. <clears throat> what, what comes out in the, the master plan will be what we decide to do. And we're thankful for them to do that, this mm -hmm. groundwork and give us the, you know, the language so, to work with. Cause that's so the, the language, I guess, that I'm, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm yeah. clear is when they're saying, when they say, um, consider. Well, when they say consider, are they telling us to consider? Are, no, are, no. They, are they telling us to consider adding this to the, to no, the plan? They're, they're, they're telling, this is what would be in the master plan oh. to the town implement, it would be to the implementation committee on well, how to implement the, the master well, plan. Well, then, then, I, then I agree because you're being prescriptive on some other things and then you're saying con consider this, but do that's this. That's by design though. Right? But I yeah. don't want to be prescriptive. Design. Right. Saying, I, don't by design. Well, I don't think that's a contradiction yeah. because sometimes you want to say, you may want to consider other times you say we think you should do it and that's that's but back to what pat said i think that like it could just be who wrote it up and it no, could no, be but, sometimes i'm not saying every time but, but, and i'm not but saying, Katie, on this I'm saying it doesn't matter who wrote it up we i want to say i want to say we want to do it so and that's my prerogative as a I member that's Glenn's point. It, yeah. there's yeah. just we it's, decide what the words are yeah who yeah. cares who wrote it up like yeah we're, we're the people who decide back, do we back want, to the yeah, point so at the beginning but, we have to so you know where i stand you know where glenn stands we're going to have a, we're going to yeah. have a vote on it at some point but back we're just gonna, so not even to, to this on. issue though is what i'm saying so that's why so we're going through and in general we're generalizing yeah that's a good thing that's a good thing if that's the case, then we have to go through each one at home and come back and say, yeah, no, that shouldn't say well, that word because it has to be either consistent or we have to really scrutinize but, each but Katie, and every word. I, I, yeah. But just, just be very clear. It doesn't have to be consistent because if you if you say consider and you mean it, and so if you then, say yep. do and you mean that, then, yeah. then, then I don't are, those then are, I don't think we've scrutinized it enough because okay, I but, think. But you have a, we have a chance to do more of it because we're. Okay. Yeah, but we do, I don't mean to be um, impolite or, or but, but I do. Oh no, that's you fine. Know, it, it You're not. If we could really get through more of this, because I think sure. this has been very fruitful. Sure. I think it's come down to a good process. Um, so, but, yeah. but I do want to, you know, I, I think we're all being respectful. Yeah, I think, of I, I'd just like to say that. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not a good thing to be too prescriptive because I, I, I think the committee perceives a different role than actually the community expects from them on a master plan. Uh, I don't think we should be directing changes in uh, building maintenance programs, piping programs that are part of the DPW and the water department for years. Uh, we're like micromanaging and trying to be specific about things that we have any right to be in control of. Those are presented to town meeting and town meeting based on the community's ability to live within its means votes to approve or not approve. Uh, and the things that are being recommended here are way outside the box in terms of the economics of Walpole's ability to afford to do m the majority of them. So I think the less prescriptive you are, the more uh, viable you're going to be as far as uh, people accepting what you're right. <clears throat> So John, thank you, but I, I, and I think we're, you know, we I understand we, this point. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. we can we have control over the wording of all the the, okay, the recommendations, and we will do that. And we, you know, you're right. We don't want to be prescriptive on things where we're micromanaging things, but other things, if we really think the town should do it, we should say it. That's mm -hmm. that's. So um, number eleven, comp we're under now policy nine B. Explore alternatives to demolishing and to significant and significantly altering the town's historic buildings and landscapes including historic public buildings. Um, so, so complete an assessment, 11, complete an assessment of the existing demolition delay bylaw to gauge its efficiency. So Jen, are, that sounded like a good thing to me, but maybe not. I mean, our bylaw is based off of the model bylaw from the Massachusetts Historical Commission. Like we didn't come up with it on our own. This is what they recommend for best practices. So again, we can do an assessment, but it, we just had a debate at town meeting yeah. three years ago where we made some edits in the past to change the demolition delay by law. Yeah. And it's already a model by law. Yeah. So, so maybe there's we're nothing. Assess the you whole know, don't mistake activity for productivity. Just yeah. this is an extra yeah, yeah. recommendation. I, don't think I would kill it. Yeah. So, so that would also mean 12 too then. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense to do either one of those. Okay. I yeah. mean, unless they can say to me a specific, right, because they've done this for other towns. Too they can say, so why don't we, here's one that worked in a different town, but I. So why don't we ask them that? Because, but, but otherwise, yeah. 
it, it, the yeah. 12, 11 and 12 would not Because that's why I actually joined the Historical Commission, yeah. and, I, and Sam Obar forwarded to me the bylaw, and I actually went in with all these markups, and he's like, oh, no, we're just going to change six months to 12. And I was like, okay, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> so. And now here you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to ask, ask them to, to show why we should even bother, right? Right, right I, yeah. yeah. Same thing and again. And then 13, um, identify historic resources that endanger removal. I'm not sure, is that any different than some of the other things that we? Yeah, I don't, these seem to this just like very, yeah. yeah. And um, once again, we're going up against, we can do all these things, but and you can say to a, a property owner, you own a historic home, but ultimately it's their property. Like. And have you already identified significant? Historical resource. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. you know, <laughs> they have. I mean, it needs to be needs to be updated. But we did it in two thousand eight. It's not like it's you know, it's, yeah. it's not like it's fifty years old. It's and I did try. I've been trying to apply for grants, and I got. They said to me, "We strongly encourage you to apply," and then they were like, "We're not giving you money." So I'll just keep doing that. But right. Um, so, yeah. No. I, so we do this. Some of these are really just kind of taking the same part, same thing, but wording it differently in a way. So I think maybe that needs, just needs to be yeah. cleaned up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Clean it up, sell it. And the same thing with 14, explore providing incentives. Is there for homeowners, developers to yeah. preserve buildings? I don't know, if, again, is that a real, a real yeah, thing? What specifics are, are they <laughs> yeah. talking who, who about, would, right? Like, if, they, where if, they if there are incentives, like, we should be doing it, but yeah. a lot of them are going to be like, yeah, are you going right. to ease building or zoning requirements? Like, that's a like bigger... That's right. When the developer yeah. says, well, I'll, I'll keep the building if you move it, <laughs> but who's going to move it where? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, okay, so again, we, we need right. to return to Judy on these and say, gee, what, what are you really, you know, how practical or how, how meaningful are these? Sure. Then number 15... Up. Support the Walpole Historic Society in establishing a historic plaque program, and that's going on. We just we're did already, that. We're already doing it. We've oh, put up multiple signs in the yeah, last no, year. Yeah, no, and that's awesome. Yeah. I, I want to applaud them for that. Yeah. Yeah. Ongoing. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. that's actually, um, so, Betsy Dyer is really leading that from yeah. the Historical Society, and they raised funds through um, when Roger Turner died. Yeah. There was yeah. an outpouring of support, so we're using it to the Roger Turner yeah. No, it's, 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 it's really we've good. we've done idea. it. All the privileges, we, yeah. so there was, I think that was like 10 or 13 signs. We've done one at the Old Town House. We are doing one, we were gonna do one at Deacon Lewis, but it might be like, yeah. there's there's some infighting going on, surprise, surprise, in Walpole, but there's a there are a few coming up. And then the next one is like, um, share house histories, or maybe it's, um, we're also trying to do like, in conjunction with the 300th, the, the Historical Commission wants to, to do another round of the Historic House plaque program. So if you live in a historic home, we'll tell you, we'll help you research, we'll do a little bit of it, and you'll get the little like, you know, this is the, you know, Deacon Lewis House, circa whatever we think it was when it was built. So we are we are already doing that. But awesome. so I think we just remove it. I think. Yeah. So, I, but I want to just applaud the, uh, the you know the, this whole effort to put a plaque. So I saw one at the Stetson, the Stetson yeah. Uh, yeah. privilege, and that you know in my neighborhood. So, and the next step nice is for the three hundred. We're going to have a map, so people yeah. can go and like you know yeah. do a little guided tour yeah. and things like that. Um, support the Walpole Historical Commission and Walpole Public Library in efforts to share. To house the histories of their owners. That, that, again, I wasn't sure what that really would mean. Yeah, I mean, unless they want—I don't know what the public library is like. If they want to do like a display in the Walpole Room, but it's more like that's again, you'd have to most of the research would come from the historical society. Yeah. So we're yeah. working together with the society yeah. and the commission um, to try to come up again to, to do that research so that people will have that information. The, the, the big thing I know is the Walpole Room is is conditioned. Yeah. So for really historic, yeah. historic. Um, books and manuscripts you really want to put them there the yeah it's not conditioned and, and, but that's a, that's a whole I don't right. see that and Betsy's here. constantly creating new pamphlets and different things so yeah. maybe we'll just make sure that it's in the library and people are aware of it but, yeah yeah but yeah and every, everything in the the waffle room is, is cataloged even though you can't yeah. go to it without uh, getting permission but um, develop and distribute preservation guidelines for owners of historic properties I mean, is that something you're already doing, the Historic Commission? Is there no, any? No, again, like, we don't really get involved until there's a demolition application. Right, right. We're not doing, we don't have the resources, money, yeah. and people to do that type of thing. But, and it's also, you know, it's, it's much like when we say to people, like, oh, you know, we can encourage you to consider keeping these historic things, but we don't have the right to tell them what to do with so, their property. So maybe again, going back to Judy, I, I could see maybe something there if, if yeah. we had wanted to fund you know, actually printing a, a pamphlet, or or if there's one out there in the state already, you know, maybe, right, or something, or you know, just making it available. But 
Um, policy 9D, communicate Walpole's history to residents of all ages and especially to youth. Work with Walpole schools to incorporate local historical research. I mean, again, um, Carrie, I don't know, is, is there any real meaningful action here? Um, I, I, mean, I don't feel <laughs> completely equipped to answer that because yeah. truthfully, I don't know what local history curriculum looks like yeah. right now. It's not yeah. something I'm, I've encountered. I mean, my kids are still little, yeah. but I just haven't encountered it yet. Yeah. So I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Whether right. or not it's but actionable by a designated entity, I'm just not sure. Yeah, I, I, I know that. It kind of goes back to, do they have, I mean, we, I need to go back to Judy and be like, do you have yeah. actual right. resources to tell us whether or not that is in the curriculum? Right. I, I mean, like, I know that my neighbor last year in third grade took a field trip to like an old house that was near the elementary school and they got a tour and that was I think just a connection that a teacher made mm. with a resource and um, you know Rich McCarthy runs that great um, program where he matches up seniors with Johnson Middle School students and they do kind of like oral history interview projects but um, it's it kind of is ad hoc. I just don't see like a formalized mechanism for doing it. Like the curriculum is is guided by the state. So right. So I so I maybe. don't know if they still do it, but Medfield had this program because I know in seventh grade every student had to pick a historic home in Medfield, and I still remember mine was the Reverend Charles Chauncey Sewell's house, which is the big <laughs> white. When you're driving down 109 away from Medfield Center on the right, there's a big white house. And I wrote about so, his, so. So maybe this is actually something that again, it, it might be um, a good thing to do, but we just need a little more, uh, you know, yeah. practically. How do we do it, or what? What are right. examples that work, right. and how would it get funded? For it or, to be in the master plan, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's just it's, like it's, it's, you know, it's, could this could be something that ended up in the school's strategic plan. Yeah. Right, like the five year yeah. strategic plan, yeah. if it was something we decided was a priority, does it belong in the master plan? I'm not yeah. sure. So maybe right. the school committee would do that, right? Uh, yeah, um, support the Walpole Historical Society in the publishing of updated maps and guidebooks. And, and they have a lot of materials that they're already yeah. you know publishing, they have um, actually quite a, quite a good selection of works that they've. they've I think a lot of people just don't really know about the historical society, yeah, so, and then there's issues because so it's that not an ADA compliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, building. Yeah. building. But, so, so again, uh, it, that's really happening, and, and uh, I mean, I don't know whether the town supports the historic society directly or not. Um, Likely not. No. Probably not. So, yeah. yeah. Other than the building, right? That was, that I don't know the details. Town of that, building, no. but, so I'm not sure. So again, more, more. It, it not, not clear how that would really be actionable for us. Um, we're up to nine E. Link historic resource preservation with natural resource conservation using the Ponset River as a thread. Mm. So again, I think it needs more detail. Right. I mean, Very it sounds, it sounds like a nice notion maybe, but you know, what, that, what would that? I mean, maybe it could be, we just did all the privileges, right? It would be like, if we had that, we could have a sign next to it. It's like, here's how you can help yeah. that. But I, it's, it's neither the Historical Commission nor well, maybe the Conservation Commission. And, and they are, you know, all, those, all that waterways yeah. along the Ponset River, all the different dams and ponds, you know, that is a, that is a kind of a, a thread, a necklace, yeah. or, uh, and we'll, you know, kind of, but so maybe that you know having some kind of a walk or more mm -hmm. information about that would be good. So so again, I think I think more more detail in, uh, right. of what we could be done. But I, but I could see that being being good. A lot of people don't realize shared most, regional history. Yeah, most right. of the ponds in Walpole are dams. Many of them on the Neponset River. Interestingly enough. Uh, um, the so, ponds the River well, Watershed Association loves to take things. And they down. and they and they would be the ones maybe to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's, that's the question, and, and it says engage, engage in the Ponset River Watershed Association, Associated Watershed Community. So, part of regional heritage. Tourism. So maybe maybe just more. I mean, I mean they're nice notional things. That they're, they're probably um, you know without more detail, it'd be you know hard for people to get their yeah their heads around it. Um, 9F fo foster a supportive environment for artists and art organizations. Create art gallery display areas within the local library and other local, local, venue, local venues. Now the library has Something two art have. venues: the have. community room and the the, um, uh, the 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 entrance off of School Street. Both are set up to display artwork, and that that was a a, a fundraising. So I, I can tell you, and there, they, any anybody who wants to display art in the library just has to make a, an application um, because they 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 would do one per month. 
I, so I don't find hall. this to be a, a master plan. I, 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 yeah, I mean, there's, it's, it's already done for the this library. Is a, this is a fun so. art program at the library. <laughs> but I think we're already doing it, right? Because we have like the yeah, things we, at Bird Park. Right. We, you yeah. know, we have things at the library. Yes. Yeah. So to that point, okay. Well, I was going to say, 24 is similar. Um, there is a collaboration with the music school with the rec department to offer some music yeah. classes. That, so that's already happening. And the other thing I would just say about the ones that have been sort of assigned to the cultural council is like the cultural council gets an allocation from the state cultural council that is relatively small yeah and the cultural council develops its own priorities based on community feedback yeah. for how it's going to allocate that money and i don't think it's appropriate for the master plan to say this is what the cultural council should yeah, be doing yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's right so they're independent the, right. the they, one thing that i think at least i i i've heard and and with number 24 it was more specific than this. It was it was part of a reuse idea for the old town home to um, to partner with you know one of the Boston based music schools because that used to be a performance space and a music space in there and to, to do some kind of collaboration to make it you know Berkeley South or you know conservatory you know and, and have programs there and I I think that was one of the ideas for a reuse so it straddles both of those I think that's that's a master plan deliverable this is I mean to Carrie's point this is just music classes that not, but, not but, but maybe we should capture that because that actually sounds like a really good thing to do actually if we had public space and I mean you, know. you could you yeah could, I mean that's you could create a, a thing that was uh, consider available public spaces as venues for the arts right just a kind of a yeah. broad yeah but like create a cultural so, center so that has take art the, classes uh, take and out music classes doing right now yeah. And, yeah yeah if we take out the walpole library for example on the art there we there may be other places yeah. in town. Like, a, like a general one about like being thoughtful about like where could we kind of create arts venues and cultural centers i think and maybe all that should be just good. one yeah. one one item maybe so yeah. art music cultural that's a good um, idea. What, and what about 25? Consider a designation for downtown as a cultural district. I don't, I don't know what that would give us. So I, I, I just don't know, so that's not a criticism. Or Do, does that mean if we designate it that way, we can build more stuff? I don't, I, I don't know what that does, yeah. So we need, we need to understand what that would give us, um, unless somebody else it? knows. Good point. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> uh, and in, so it's from the Mass Cultural Council, an initiative to allow communities to create state-sponsored cultural districts to stimulate new arts and cultural activity and attract creative businesses. Is it just a designation? I think it's a designation. You can throw in a grant application. Mm. You mean if you if you apply? I'm just saying if you if yeah. you were to so, apply that and be eligible, yeah. eligible, it's probably an incentive while applying for grant funding. Oh. If you're hey, we have a cultural uh, district. Yeah. Okay, and that, that might be good. I mean, we're trying to do more downtown with the downtown. With the downtown. Yeah. yeah. Consider, I mean, no consider applying. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Okay, that was, are, are any, uh, any other comments before we go on to the next, next section? Are we good to keep going? Yeah. Um, okay. So we're up to, uh, What's three hours? Uh, to open we, space. We have, a, we have a deadline. I'll keep going. But, uh. <laughs> no, but th no, thank you for all your your willingness. Um, and don't hesitate to kick me or something if you think I'm going too slow or something, or or if you think I'm going too fast. So. How many people want to keep going? Do you want? You want? Do you want? Okay. Okay. Oh, we? No, I'm just curious. It seems mixed. So. Do you want well, to take? I, a, I just won't get to talk about open space in two weeks, maybe. Do people can we breeze to? through open space and then Maybe. call it a night? Or do we want to call it a night? We want to call it a night. Well, it's fine. I will tell you, I have a lot of things for climate change. Um, I have like so eight that's things that's I want like to Let's go through two and then but, um, evaluate. But I, I would, I'm going to write, I, have, I actually wrote up my eight things. So, um, well, if you, uh, if you stop at two, then at least you have five. Yeah. New so let's, 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 so. let's do, I don't think two will, will be, will take too much time. Um, but let's, let's see. You never know, right? <laughs> I don't want to be okay. presumptuous. Implement, so, so we're, we're on two, um, open space and recreation. Implement actions from the ADA accessibility self-evaluation, including upgrades to benches, paved pathways, universal play features, et cetera. 
Uh, this is this is the same as 2.1 when we did the um, um, the earlier mm -hmm. review of recommendations. Okay. okay. Upgrade the existing signage and parking area amenities at town-owned outdoor recreational areas and open spaces to more adequately serve the needs of seniors and people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. um, again, um, number three, and this is under um, enhance public access and promote use of all those existing recreation areas and open spaces, particularly those currently underutilized. Pri for, yeah, prioritize ongoing maintenance of older active recreation facilities, including trash pickup, flower and bush bed grooming, trail clearing, and repairs to fences and benches at parks around the town to maintain their attractiveness and usefulness for Walpole residents. Um, so it's interesting the, the things they mentioned there, but, um, but it sounds all right. I mean, anybody? Right. Are, we're good. Enhanced sidewalk con connections, wayfinding, parking facilities, and lighting at existing facilities, especially near schools and Adams Farm, to increase access at, during different times of day and for all modes of transportation. Should Jarvis Farm be part of this as well? Do they have the same issues? Um, so maybe. Adam, I, don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't go in there. Question for Kevin, probably. But it's, um, there's really no light. Should they have some stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's tricky because they say they close the gates and they never do. Um, Maybe it shouldn't be so specific right. of what facilities. Yeah. I, I don't know. So, 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 including at least near schools. And especially near schools. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the example for this, and I think this was this was John's item, is that Homeward Lane goes down into that into that land, and you can't. You should be able to access the. They should be able to access Adams Farm directly from there, but I think he also mentioned Jarvis Farm is the same the same type of thing. So I'm just not sure where there would be another access point to Jarvis Farm, but maybe John has an idea um, about that. I thought it was one. <laughs> yeah, it would be only through the town other forest other trails. Yeah, I, the trails. I just thought that. Um, Whoop, John. The uh, the access to, to Adams Farm is there's, there's so much opportunity up there. And people can't walk or ride their bike really effectively uh, in there. So there are some possibilities of getting better access. As far as Jarvis Farm, we are we have a, a study going on a parking lot, environmentally sound parking lot that will accommodate passive recreationists. Uh, to Jarvis Farm, and uh, we're trying to make it particularly the the, uh, the work that Glenn did up there and others to uh, make it uh, contiguous to uh, walking paths, et cetera, and, and paths of recreation, and at the same time be a little bit protective as far as the, uh, any heavy uses or heavy vehicle uh, presence that might dump oil or other things into the uh, aquifer area. So it's kind of a balance. It's not necessarily uh, a second access on that one. It's more of if we do put a bike path in and a sidewalk and connect to the pathways that guns develop up there and do some other things and have a parking lot that's maybe not huge in scale, but it's environmentally protective. Uh, if you don't make a more valuable resource all the way around for the uh, residents. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I might take out Adams Farm, and it's maybe too specific. It's nothing wrong with Adams Farm, but it, we either have a comprehensive list or we don't. Clearly, if there's a lighting issue at Adams Farm, we should solve it as a town. I mean, but, yeah. but and I'm sure we will. Uh, you know, the town administrator could could address any situation. Um, at any time, so maybe not calling attention to it right so, here. So we're so we're taking out the specific places I would, yeah. and, and make it make it more generalized. Okay, I think I think that's good. Yeah. Um, number five: conduct public awareness campaign about existing town open space recreation resources through various means. 
Um, yeah. I mean, we sure. do it. I mean, that's kind of like yeah, that's sure like that's post master, on Facebook yeah, a bunch sure of times. Yeah, <laughs> not sure that's a master plan thing. Yeah, we kind of do it. I would I mix it. I would yeah. take it out. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just had a comment earlier. They they used it in the overall goal too. They keep saying you know particularly those currently underutilized. How are we defining underutilized? Right. Right. What have been which has been found to be underutilized so far? Will we? How often will we revisit this? What are yeah. things that are used now and then they're underutilized? And yeah. I, I agree. I, I mean, I think we just get rid of it. But. Are, are people good with that? Yes. I mean, get rid of five. I mean, there may yeah. be some things that are underutilized in the sense that we know. You and know, there's no action don't. item there. It's it's post on Facebook and, and and encourage people. Yeah, of course. That's we're, we're going to do that anyways. Yeah. Um, you need, you need. I think you need something more actionable. I, I think so. For that, I mean, I don't know what that would more be. More outside but, the box. And maybe yeah. some of the other items pertaining to to signage and wayfinding and the Bay State Trail. Yeah. yeah. Th those are those are more. Actionable, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking things. about the specific examples again, and just to, around the implementation of some of these things. So, if we if we leave it general and just say, you know, connect connect the parks, are we're we're leaving it to an implementation team to say which parks will get connected and when? Is that okay, or do you do you feel like do you feel like the the feedback that we got from town to address you know if, if they're you know address town hall like if, if that's a priority should we should we say town hall and not you know not say specific buildings or if it's adams farm should we say adams farm and not not you know just keep it too general just so it gets so so that the the issue the things yeah. that people want to see get I'd like to chime in on that i think that the thing about adams farm we spent 20 million dollars of taxpayers money to develop that resource. It's a fantastic resource. It's totally underutilized. We can sweep it under the rug and just say, oh, we'll go in and develop some other park somewhere else and do whatever. But I think uh, the town needs to take some responsibility and upgrade the utilization, the accessibility, and the viability of residents of 25,000 people have paid a fortune for Adams Farm. Uh, you know, it's not, I wouldn't put that on the same scale as a, a schoolyard playground. <clears throat> so, John, did you say Adams Farm was underutilized? I, I didn't hear what you yeah. Yes. Yeah. He did, yeah. I, I think he was just reinforcing. Yeah. Should, yeah. 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 So, uh, if we could so, jump to number six, are we on number six? Um, yes. Well, I think just finishing five. So, so I think we, we do want to maybe generalize that if there are places underutilized, we want to do more to utilize and what those might be. Sure. So, yeah, I went back to four. Yeah. So I, I was, oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. Um, and then six is partner with the Norfolk County Ag Agricultural High School to promote use and maintenance of Adams Farm. I'll jump in there and, and add. The, um, so Norfolk County has 300 acres of open space, um, some of which is contiguous with uh, Adams Farm. Um, uh, actually, about half of it is contiguous yeah. with Adams Farm. So, some of it's actually surrounded by, 25 acres is actually surrounded by Adams Farm, so there's really nothing they could, and I think power lines, there's nothing they can do with that, which is great. Um, and then, of course, they have um, the land um, up off North Street toward Bubbling Brook, and then they have another 150 acres behind, behind and including uh, the ag agricultural school. Um, and so in the open space and recreation plan, we, uh, we have as a goal to work with the county to preserve as much of that land as they, I mean, we, we can't make them preserve anything, but to work with them to, to add easements, um, preservation protections, um, just any number of ways that we could preserve that land. So basically work with the county to pres preserve their open space is in the open space plan. So I would we, love to add it here. Should too. we be referencing the open space plan? It's, it's not referenced at any point yeah, that I, think, I see. I think that's what it's we like we're, we're, we're picking things it's, out. Yeah, I think we should. Where a lot of this is coming from. I think we should reference. Yeah, it, it's definitely yeah. coming from that. Yeah, yeah for but, sure. But it'd be good to reference it. Maybe just. I think that's a big one for me. Reference the water, you know, the the, the, the sewer plan and. Yeah. yeah. I would. I, I, yeah. So if you could make a note, reference yeah. the open space twenty twenty one open space plan yeah. at some. And, and that includes way. other things you just mentioned too. Yeah. Within just. Item number six? Or? At, at some point, I don't know where. Okay, um, but, but also in item number six, I would like to add the, work the, with the county to preserve their open space in, in Walpole, um, which I think is something that we should yeah, continue yeah. to do. And I guess a general comment would be. At some point, we need to reference the, the yeah. open yeah. space plan, yeah. yeah. By the way, I wanted, just one thing I, I, I thought of is that when we when it talked about the 
public awareness program, I, I just want to highlight the program you have, Glenn, with the uh, January 1st walks. You know, that's another way. Want to put first day hikes yeah, in there? Yeah, but yeah. that's another way of, of bringing attention to yeah. the, our open lands, our trails. So yeah. a, lot, a lot of things going on. Um, number seven, implement recreational resilience recommendations from the CRB workshop, including tree, forest, and land management program assessing tomato tests, yeah, t mosquito tests, and so forth. Um, tick. So some of this sounds like it would be in the, the, the health and the, um, I don't, I don't know what the CRB is. Can we just clarify is. what CRB is? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that is. So maybe we should get a clarification on that. But we, Unless somebody else we, knows we what We are it is. already doing this, right? I mean, we. This is not the right spot for this. Um, Community resilience. Building. Yeah, so some of this would be um, health. Some of it might be climate change. Um, I don't. Some of it might be, uh, you know, the, the maintenance of catch I mean, basins. gas basins. That, that's, that's, we already covered that. Yeah, that needs to, it's important, but I don't think it's in the right spot. No, and we, and we kind of covered that, right, in the, already, in the. Yeah, so if we could just merge, if I, yeah. Pat, if I could give you this feedback, if we could yeah. merge the catch basin comment with, um, with the uh, stormwater management, wherever that's referenced, um, and then everything above it, I don't know what to do about that. The community, the CRB workshop is, it's the Community Resilience Building Workshop, and apparently a report was published in February 2019. Oh, Fuss and O'Neill. Yeah, that's, yeah. so that's important um, yeah. to reference in the Fuss and O'Neill report. Yeah. That, that goes back to the culverts, too. They have a culvert recommendation. They have our green infrastructure. So that, that, that goes back was, to the... I was at that meeting, actually. To the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it goes where? It goes into the, to your point, I think it goes back to the natural resources thing. Yeah, and the sustainability, I think it yeah. used to have some, uh, yeah, um, um, well, climate change. And, and, and certainly it has an impact on, on REC because the programs get shut down if there's... So, well, more than anything, it goes with infrastructure because, I mean, we're talking yeah. about Fossil O'Neill has a, a recommendations. Yes. being related to that as an element, would you say it, its primary section should change from open space? Yes. yes. Okay. And you were going to ask me the next question is where? Yes. <laughs> I just don't ask me. Maybe other people have ideas. But uh, I mean, I think certainly the stormwater stuff needs to go. Anything Fuss and O'Neill referenced needs to go so to maybe infrastructure. Maybe it needs to be broken apart. Stormwater yeah. goes the, to. The CIB workshop stuff needs to go to. Um, climate change. Climate change. Well, and that's one of them. No, you're right. It's and infrastructure. infrastructure. Yeah. Um, it's a lot in one. Yeah. Action item. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they, they talk about it in, in climate change also. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. I just don't want to get lost. I, um, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't belong here. Yeah. Okay. And then enforce a rest schedule that aligns with the town's fertilizer programs to help mitigate overuse on town playing. They, are, they already do this. Do they? Yeah. So maybe we don't need I don't to know do that. about it. And then the only, what perked my interest there was maybe we shouldn't be using fertilizer on the town fields. But that's a that's an environmental thing. I won't we won't discuss that more. But it's an idea. It's, yeah, not, not tonight. Yeah, investigate mechanism for improving drainage at town playing fields. I know that that's been a problem, particularly up on Mylard Street, right? Mm. Right, but Mylard is not town owned. Right, it's not town owned. No, no, it's not. Oh, okay. Uh, so so again, maybe. Maybe a little more detail, you know, I mean, it sounds like a good thing to do. Like a section that maybe that should be more um, direct or descriptive. descriptive. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like it says, UMass Amherst has a great turf management program. Yeah. <laughs> it's so great. Like, could you elaborate? Like, <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, this is like the, the fields at Fisher School that, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that are, get swampy in the spring and then the... Yeah. June Street Johns gets, and uh, Johnson. Yeah. June Street. Well, Johnson they can't touch because it's uh, right next to the wells. Right. They don't probably fertilize there. Either. They cannot. Fertilize. They can't. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ten. Develop post flood cleanup a uh, post flood cleanup team to restore fields to playable conditions after severe weather. I was wondering, does the town not, not already do that? No, the I town mean the highway department, the parks department would already do it. They already do that. That's right? the job. Yeah. Maybe not the highway department, but the parks yeah. department. Do we need this? I mean, I, so I was wondering Ten. whether. I mean, kind of like no. it's kind of like a job description. Can I it. can I take these back and then I'd like to just have a chat with Brendan um, and then just confirm oh, all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? So do, should we? Eleven. The nursery. You know, that's a tree. You know, develop a municipal nursery to grow trees and other plants for public places. Well, our parks 
And so that uh, super, superintendent has, um, he's got like a master's degree in like tree management. Yeah. I'm yeah. probably not saying so that. So that would right, be, we would. He's like an expert in this stuff. So hopefully so he would be, he maybe, might yeah. weigh in on this. Uh, yeah, I would love him to weigh in on this. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And then acquire yeah. new recreational spaces with long term sustainability in mind, including staff capacity for maintenance, prevention of harmful development near sensitive aquifer zones, and preservation of valuable natural resources. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go over. Yeah. We've I mean, got a lot of spaces that need to be... This Jarvis uh, Farm is referenced there, I should, I clearly, and um, I don't know. It seems toothless. There seem to be a couple things here, because you have recreational space, and then you have you know, the, long, the, the sustainability, so, um, which might be a little different. So I would say, is it passive recreation or active recreation? Because that matters. It so does matter. yeah. That's active right. recreation is the 1A fields. Are we acquiring new... Like active recreations? I, I, I would like to see this. I, I mean, I think this should be more passive recreation. I think passive. If you added the word <laughs> passive, then I would think this is okay. a great comment. Okay, that's good. Yep. Okay. And then I only had one comment at the end I, I wrote here was that there didn't, didn't seem to be more about acquiring more open space, although maybe that's implied a couple places here. I missed that. Uh, having, having a discrete, you know, acquiring more open space. I love that, yeah. You know, I agree you know, with you know, that. It's implied in some places, but not really. I, I would also suggest that we move that, that, we move that item around the, the uh, updating or, the, or making a more cohesive recreational center, that, that item um, from earlier, and move it into this piece, uh, into this section. Even though it has that, even though it ha you know impacts the um, facilities and and so forth, but I think the item was basically looking at the the fields and the pool and Blackburn and oh, was that the, oh, and that well, the recreation okay. study and yeah, moving yeah. that moving that to here, yeah, yeah, moving it in here because I think that that was oh, the recreation. It's something that I'm I'm pretty um, I'm pretty passionate about as well because I think it will just. If this place is more of a destination, it will increase traffic oh, downtown. Yeah. Well, that goes back to the the Blackburn stone pools. Yeah, yeah. The, you we talked about it earlier. I, I just think it should get moved to this section. Well, so I agree. That, I yeah. almost yeah. forgot about yeah. that. We, yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can that so be? Is that like item number three? So two point three. Yeah, I can make it. I can find it. So you send it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's late. I'll go through yeah. it and send it. So so please, if you made comments, please keep track of them yourself to make sure we didn't miss something. When we go through, and you know, and, and get, I, I want to thank Pat for doing the bulk of this work here to, to knock on everything. Yeah. And then my Thanks one so suggestion too. I would have for the next meeting, if you do have additional recommendations you want to make, if you write them up ahead of time and send them to Pat, you could we could send them out ahead of time to everybody. Yeah. So that would be so if you want to write them up ahead of time, it, it doesn't mean you can't still submit something, but it would just it would just maybe make the process go a little smoother. Can we do that for climate? Should we do that for climate, climate change, change before we meet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I, I think I have eight, so I'm, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna send those out. So, okay. yeah. Um, and then for the well, future sections. That for the future sections. As well. Yeah, I mean, that's that's right. That's right. So I want to thank everybody for you know the the extended meeting. Um, I want to thank Pat. Um, for you know, spending a lot of hours with us, by the way, and, and doing uh, you know a lot of work to try to make all make our community work. So I really do want to appreciate him. Hard work. You know, I'm I, I'm sure he's working more hours than uh, you know as he's here. You know, he's not one of he's not a volunteer, but he I is a volunteer. I haven't got a on in the office yeah. yet. So, <laughs> so uh, and certainly want to change. Uh, Walp uh, thank Walpole Media TV and uh, the other Pat um, for for sticking with us too. Um, so. With that, um, I have adjourn. a motion to adjourn. So moved. Um, second. So we have a um, from Glenn, a second by Carrie, and then we do need to do the roll call vote. So I'll do John first. Um, for uh, John, a, a motion to adjourn. So you can just hit the space bar, and it should unmute it temporarily. Yeah. Okay, John, interrupt us. I'm going to keep going. Um, uh, Carrie. Yes. Andrew? Yes. Janet? Yes. Uh, Jen, Jen? Yes. Glenn? Yes. Um, Mike? Yes. Katie? Yes. Myself? Yes. And John, do you want to vote on adjourning? He may not be there. Yeah. So I'm going to say the vote. I don't think he's going to sway the vote. So I think the vote is uh, eight.
0-0-1 not voting. Thank you, okay. Bill. Thank you all. Thank you all, by the way. Yeah.